winding up. We're live. We're live. I hope you got your big girl panties on. This is episode 95 of the Who Move My Freedom podcast, live from the Big Daddy Gun Studios. That's right. I am here. Your host, Hank Strange, Sir Hankimus Alotimus. <laughs> here is Sir Kevin Diximus. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I can't even compare oh. to that. No. Sir Kevin, <laughs> what's going on? Hey, what's going on? Good people out there. How are everybody doing? How was the weekend, fellas? Man, that red is blinding me, Kevin. That red yeah, is blinding man. you? It's Too much red. red. It's bright, man. It's, it's in right. full blood mode. Hold on, I man. He was a crip. Don't, don't try to be oh. nice, but you know. Oh, oh he's got a show. Uh, oh, we should have never said it. I'm trying to get the channel demonetized before we get started. <laughs> oh, my goodness gracious. Oh, yeah. This is <laughs> this is the mark. This is six six six. The mark of Beelzebub. Yeah, right. The mark of the barrels. <laughs> There's the mark of the bur There you go. I like the, mark of the, I the barrels. Yeah, I thought you were a crip man, not a blood. Um, it depends on what block I was on that day and how I had to. Start. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So we are gonna come back to Kevin Dixie in a minute. Okay. Here he goes. So Walter Miss. Keller Miss. Keller Miss. <laughs> How's it going, Sir Walter? What's up? Oh, no, uh, it's all right. It's going all right. Good. Oh, that's that's kind of muted. Yeah, I have my reasons, but it's going all right. Oh, really? You have yeah. Some, some issues going on. Not no. getting enough loving from. Uh, no, no, no. It's not that. Peggy not, Killer no. Keller. No, no, no. She's no. not the issue. No. Oh. Uh -oh. Um, no, it's just a holiday thing, you know. Oh, just, are you bar humbug or something? No, I, I like it when it happens, but it just it just screws up the whole working thing, you know. Oh, oh, everyone wants. Uh oh, with people taking okay. off. And, there comes Peggy with the love. I'm in the next room, so when you say she's not the issue, my ears perk up. <laughs> say that again. I said I'm in the next room, so when you say she's not the issue, my ears perk up. Oh no, like, oh, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. Hi guys. Hey, how you doing, Peggy? <laughs> We're behaving. We're on our best behavior right now. We Peggy's didn't. Not. No, he's not. He's yeah. lying. <laughs> Walter said he was feeling a little blue. It's the holidays. I can't hear you. you know, he wanted yeah. a Ferrari. She can't hear me. Okay, I was trying. <laughs> I to want. Push. I want a car bright as Kevin's shirt. There. That's what yeah. That's mean. right. <laughs> you know, I got have me a Ferrari like yeah. that, like that <laughs> color there. Yeah. Yeah, Ferrari man, the red. Three of those tanks, you can get a Ferrari. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you know, if I did sell my, I could. Yeah, I could. See? Yeah, yeah. But then you'd have no tanks. <laughs> I, I I could get me a Magnum PI kind of Ferrari for sure. Yeah. So. Yeah, but then you'd have no tanks, my friend. Yeah, mm -hmm. it'd be it'd be a. Yeah, somebody in the crew has to have a tank. Uh, just uh, just so when people ask that stupid question, like, <laughs> would you do you need a tank? Yes. <laughs> yes. Not only do we need tanks, we have yes. tanks. That's yes. a, uh oh, I hear uh -oh. Argo J coming Argo. in. Oh. Yeah, he's coming in to bomb. Okay, let me do some stuff here while Argo's getting set up. What's up to everyone hanging out in the chat with us? What's going on, guys? Hope everyone out there had a great weekend. Um, I want to shout everyone out. I'm going to go to a roll call here in a second of everyone hanging out in the chat. Um, I want to remind everyone, click the thumbs up, share this. Uh, you guys also on the panel, if you haven't shared this, make sure you share it on your oh, various I social I medias. Do I do yeah. Yeah. yeah, let your friends and family and everyone know that, that you are hanging out with the strange. <laughs> and uh, there goes Argo, big Argo J. What's up, bro? What's up, man? Can you guys hear me? Uh, yep. You're a little, a little quiet. Hear. You're a little quiet. You got to turn, turn the volume up. Argo J is also, I don't know why he's being so quiet today. Usually he's a loud mouth. I am not. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know why his volume so low. You got to turn your volume up a little bit here. Let me see how much I could turn. Go ahead and talk. Give me a mic check. What about now? What about now? Check one, two. Oh. One, two. It's, still, it's still a little quiet. I don't know how the, the folks out there might be hearing you better. How are you guys hearing you? Know, you're pretty low, dude. Pretty low, bro. Yeah. So we'll, we'll give him a minute to get that set up. Take, go ahead and take your time. Let me go through here and shout out everyone hanging out with us in the chat. Today, Mark Wagner was number one. Number one getting into the hangout today, Mark Wagner. Then, uh, then we've got Screaming Skull Saloon, Kentucky Firearms Network, Joe Carpenter. What's going on? Chris B. Also in the house. Uh, two wise guys. 
He says he made it early for once. Hope everyone had a great weekend. Um, I, you know, we did. We did. Thank you very much. Yeah, I did all right. Yeah. I kind of went to like a little car show this weekend. I'll talk about that in a second. Tango Hunter. Um, I don't know if I said Tango Hunter already. Uh, let's see who else. DC2 Mega Boots. Lola is in the chat. She's in here early. David G. Um, let's see who else. The Archangel. What's up, Archangel? Uh, okay, let's see. Let's LB see. Louis LB Cypher. Cypher. Uh, Insight, Insight Freedom, Freedom Exhale, Exhale, The Tyvin Show, Show, TJ Blaze. I'm hearing my own voice. Yes. Heard it's mayhem. Yeah, I hear it like an echo too. Yeah, Brian Quick. Rick Day. E Rock. E Rock. <laughs> Baby face. <laughs> the hell's going on? <laughs> no, that's probably Argo oh. trying to figure out his thing. Chris Gibson. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. TJ Blaze. Okay. okay. Now, who is that doing that? Who's who's with doing the echo? Is that you, Argo? Oh, the echo went away now. Yeah, it went away, and I can't hear him at all. So Argo's still getting it worked out. Jake Barr is also in here. Gerald Welding slash uh, GA Gun Shooting says we're echoing. Yes, I saw that. Shut up and play your guitar is in the chat as well. I don't hear it anymore. Uh, Buddy Channel says, don't forget me, life out loud. <laughs> don't forget me, yeah. buddy. Don't forget me. Can buddy? Can yeah, we can hear you. Right, Roger. Roger. Yeah, we can hear you. Can you hear us? I hear, I hear you just fine. Oh, there you go. That's, that's All it. right, yeah. now we can hear you. Lots better. There you go. That's All what better. I'm talking about. So what's up, Argo? What's up, man? How's everybody doing? Good. 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 How was your weekend, sir? Way over there. Uh, my weekend was relaxed. Okay. Very relaxed. But, uh, you know, that is what it is. Have you been staying out of trouble? I've noticed that you up to, like you you back in the social medias all of a sudden. No, I'm, I've always been there, man. Oh, oh, okay, okay. You just you <laughs> probably stopped following me, man. No, <laughs> no, I wouldn't. Do that. <laughs> uh, no, I wouldn't. You know, it's, you know, some people I would do that too, maybe, but you know, <laughs> yeah, not you, not you, never. So. But you know, like I put up. Are you talking about YouTube? Uh, no, I I noticed you were putting stuff up on Instagram, but your voice went away again. Is your is is something up with your headset there? Oh, now he's totally gone. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We'll. Uh, okay. Eli Jimenez is also in here. We'll see. Argo will get his stuff worked out. I'm trying, man. Yeah. There you go. You're back. Looks like you. Um. You got, we got. We have some guns that we'll talk about. I've got some guns here. Argo, do you have guns? Of course. Okay. All right, there you go. Kevin, do you got do you have guns there? Of course. I brought your favorite one out today, Hank. You're gonna oh. love it. Um, you have a high point. It's, uh, you, it's, you, it starts with an H. Yeah. Okay, high point. It ends with ends with a K. Uh, it you starts with an H. If it's not high point, is it Jimenez? No, no, that's not it. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, Babyface says your mic is under your hoodie. That's not. Argo. No. no. Oh, let's see. I don't know. I think I think there's like the you've got a broken wire or something in that headset. It could be. Can you not hear me now? Yeah, I can, we can hear you, but it's clicking on and off. That's a brand new head, set of headphones, so I'll try to be as still as possible. Yeah, yes. stop moving around. <laughs> Yeah, I'm looking for some replacement headphones. But. Yeah, so let's go down the list here. Let's find out from Walter what he did this weekend. Walter was kind of sad when we started up here. So what were you up to, Walter? Um, let's see. Saturday, Saturday, Saturday. Yeah. Uh, Will what? Killer Keller says now we have a pulse. I'm pretty sure <laughs> someone's got a pulse. <laughs> that's Argo's. <laughs> that's Argo's headset. It's clicking. Is it? I'm gonna yeah. Are you are you on are you on an iPad or something? No, I'm on my laptop. Oh, I'm yeah. on my laptop, so. Yeah, it's it's clicking. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. So go ahead, Walter. What were you up to this weekend? Uh, well, Saturday morning. Um, also try logging back in. Yeah, Argo Lola says try to log off and log back in. It might it could be that. Go ahead, Walter. Saturday morning, I um I met up with um, Babyface P. He came up here with his um his fiance. Yes, I heard about this. You you were playing was, Santa Claus. Well, he came up to pick up that Colt that I that I right right that he was jonesing for. 
Yeah. And uh, we did that, and we went out to breakfast. Really? And, yeah. Really? Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. I know. I know how you like your breakfast. <laughs> well, the breakfast didn't happen till around ten o'clock. So. Oh. Was, oh. Okay. It yeah. Was like more like brunch. But mm -hmm. um. What was the cult? What he was getting from you again? I, I, bought, I bought a 1903, like that one he fixed for me. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah, the same one. Okay. Same one, yeah. So he came up, picked that up. We mm -hmm. went to breakfast, and then he went back by the shop, and I and I really made his day by giving him my – um. I have a little milling machine, a little tabletop drill mill. Little? Well, little compared to yeah. – How, how, how much does this thing weigh? You said it weighs 600 pounds. It probably weighs that much, yeah. Uh-huh. So um, – <laughs> <laughs> I made his day by I said uh, he he was I was like you know what you want it you can have it so so you just gave it to him for free yeah. for free man oh my goodness gracious man he's he's a fledgling you know gun guy he needs the, yeah yeah no he was really happy he was really really I, happy I, I, it'll yeah. get used it wasn't really getting used in my shop so just sitting collecting dust so yeah so now I have to help him go bring that heavy thing oh, you need to hire some strong backs. Yeah, find some strong backs. Yeah, I'm too old to be lift, lifting heavy machinery. Thanks a yeah. lot, Walter. We're coming to get you that day. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, bring a trailer for my forklift. Yeah. Uh, try, don't try to conveniently be out of town because you are uh, helping us get that thing into the pickup truck, and when we get to, and you're following uh, us back to Gainesville to unload it. Oh uh, well, you got that super duper pickup truck. Didn't it got like a secret arm inside? You can lift it out. With no. <laughs> Yeah. Um, so then on Sunday, of course, Babyface shows up with his dad in the morning, and we loaded it up. Mm -hmm. And then he went off on his on his way, and I went with a to meet up with another military vehicle guy that was doing like a static display at a military at a a surplus store um, in Pinellas Park. And then it, that front came through, and it rained on us a little bit. And then after that, I went back to the shop, and I just goofed off. Okay, that sounds like I was fun. trying to mess around with trying to figure out. There's a couple things I want to build, and you know, sometimes when you want to build something and you just look at it and it just doesn't, it's not clicking, the inspiration is not coming. Yeah. Out. I was trying yeah. to do something new and different, you know, I just started stared at it for a while and stared at it for a while, <laughs> <laughs> moved the parts around, went next door, grabbed a couple other parts, moved them around. It's like it ain't happening. Anymore. Yeah, sometimes so, you have to walk away, man. Sometimes you have to walk away so, and then come back. Yeah, then it, yeah. I went home. That was it. So that yeah. was a weekend. It wasn't. It wasn't like it was um, um, super action packed and fun filled or anything. It was just a weekend. So. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I see Rod Mills. My friend Rod Mills is in there. He noticed I'm rocking. Look at that, Walter. Do you have oh, one of these? Oh, is that new one? The, no, this is the old school Hank Stream. I don't have an old one, no. You don't, ha no, you don't no. have one of these old school ones? I think no. so. You must. No. I no, gave you don't. one of these. These are out of circulation. No, no. These are these are like collector's editions. That's 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 pre me. Oh. Oh, okay. That's like I say about my wife, it's pre Peggy, so it's pre me. Oh, okay. Well, you know, they're they're that's the way they're highly time. sought got... after now, I know. Okay, well you know, maybe maybe if you're nice to Lola, I don't know. We can Maybe arrange something. Well, we gotta go to Jared or something. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe. All right, listen, guys. Don't forget to click the thumbs up. Don't forget to share this video. So, Kevin, what were you up to this weekend, man? Were you training or something? Uh, this weekend, yeah, I put on a uh, uh, one of my favorite things to do. Uh, I put on a, a teenager course. So I, I like working with. I like kids, uh, but I consider teenagers kids just because they think they're grown doesn't mean they are. But no, I was uh, a couple of wonderful, uh, wonderful kids and got them out, introduced them to guns. And um, one of them had only seen guns on Call of Duty, had never even seen a real gun like in person. <laughs> nice. So, that was so I brought out. Um, we we trained. We did most of the training with MMP 22s. Uh, but you know, as a surprise, if they behaved, which they did, you know, it was a. Um, guys girls kind of a mixed gender i brought out like a i brought out an ar and let them shoot a nine mil you know shoot this nine mil you know the only nine you know this one oh, yeah. right here they, that one. um i don't i don't uh, recognize that gun i don't I, know you know, is that a high point you just showed us <laughs> what the high point it points high but it's not you know <laughs> <laughs> but no man it was cool i got I, that was uh other than that i chilled but it was it was fun to get out with them and you know watch their you know their enjoyment right they mm -hmm. were out there they learned they listened 
they recited information to me. They learned safety. They were both respectable, responsible, and they got to shoot guns. And they got to shoot AR, and they got to shoot uh, handguns, and they got to shoot larger handguns. Uh, but it was fun to see their excitement, their enthusiasm about how often can we do this? That was the question. Yeah. How often can we do this? And I was like, as often as you guys sign up. So uh, it was cool, man. I had fun. I always like growing people, so that was good. Yeah, I think that's cool. And we, you know, bringing the kids into the fold of responsible gun ownership and the Second Amendment, et cetera, is always good stuff, you know? Can't can't knock that. So let's see, Argo, have you worked out your stuff? I see you're muted now. Looks like you got headsets on. Uh, can you hear me any better now? Oh, that's so sexy, yeah, yeah, man. There we go. Good. The Barry White going on there. Yeah. <laughs> Can you feel me now? Don't go too deep on us now. Because yeah. then we'll have to like press, you know, sexual harassment charges. Oh, oh baby, yeah, baby. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Once I've been with you. <laughs> oh boy. Oh yeah. You want me to start? You want me to start singing on it, man? Yeah, yeah, thank you. Don't, yeah. <laughs> Don't, it's too early, man. It's too hey, early. Hey, this is how I feel about you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, nice, nice, <laughs> nice. Look at you with a 50 cal, man. Yeah. Where'd you get that 50 BMG from? Oh, when I was out shooting a couple of months ago. I pocketed yeah. one. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, I'm pretty sure the- Walter's not going to be out. Do- oh, look at this. The baby 50 BMG, the SBR, man. Have you guys seen this? The 50, the. This is a, is this a SBR? Yes, it is. It's yeah. SBR, it's yeah. The pistol version. What? What? I think I've seen that in the video. You got to watch, watch, watch Mr. Guns and Gear shoot it. You know yeah. That? Yeah, we're all, we were all featured on a Guns and Gear video that came out yesterday, right, Walter? Yes, it did. I didn't see it until yeah. today, but yeah. Yeah, true. yeah. I got a chance to watch a little bit of it. I think I got, I got a chance to watch the part where you had him running through the kill tech gauntlet. Yeah, you got to yeah. go to the very, very end to see the 50 kill. Yeah. You have to watch all the way to the end. Kevin. And I'm not even in it. So. I, do. I was trying. Before I got too caught up, I was like, oh, before I forget, I, I shared it out for other people who can watch it. And I got right. it oh, you weren't in that one, Walter? No, no. I was oh, in the, okay. The behind the, the back- scenes one I did. You're yeah, in I was it. in the backstage one. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. Yeah. So there you go. So where, where's, what, what happened to Argo? He's there. Uh-oh. He's there. Yeah. Argo. I'm ready? Yeah. So what's, what's going on, man? What were you up to this weekend? Oh, uh, nothing much, man. Actually just working, getting some some much needed home maintenance and things done and just relaxing oh, okay cool yeah, yeah yeah what's this thing Nothing major in the gun front huh oh no what i'm trying to i'm looking at your hat you have is that your patch on your hat no it's not my patch it's probably what i don't is even that? know trying to see what that is let's see what it is tactical gear evolved oh. htc okay. yeah high threat concealment Okay, cool. That's, uh, oh, that's actually my new. Well, I guess I do. Well, that's my new um, EDC sponsor, man. They got all my uh, my holsters and my uh, range gear down, my my belts and all kind of stuff, man. I mean, I'm sitting here surrounded by stuff from oh snapples. Oh snapples! <laughs> <laughs> that's I the first time I heard that. <laughs> really? I'm gonna have to reuse that snapples. one. Oh yeah, because I, I use the other one too much. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that's you know sometimes it's family friendly, you know. It's, yeah. But no, it's uh man, like this belt here, you have to excuse the moving around and the unrecognized, but I didn't know you're gonna I didn't know you're gonna call me teacher. But this HTC belt, uh it's a cobra buckle, man. Uh, okay. Super good, super well stitched, super tight. Uh I actually got one on right now. Is this for and training this or for um no, two gun, that's, their, three gun? that's their EDC belt, man, but they have the whole gambit, you know what I mean? If you check them out, man, they run the whole gambit of, of, of gear that you can use in belts for. So that's just what I wear every day, though. Okay. I cool. mean, not that not that hookup right there, but the, the belt that's on top with the Cobra buckle. Okay, nice, nice. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I've, I've heard of them before. I've definitely seen that uh, oh, seen man. that logo and all that kind of stuff. So. And the holsters are nice, man. Yeah. They're high quality. They fit nice and tight to the body there. Yeah. They're real good. I really like them. I'm, I'm uh, very, very impressed. I mean, I was thinking that's like a Bentley hat or something you had on there for a second. Yeah, right, man. I don't fall flag. <laughs> Looking like the Bentley look. I was like, what? Let's, let's see. Aston, Aston, Aston Martin. That's yeah, Aston yeah. Aston exa- Martin. All right. That's it right there. Aston Martin. Yeah. I was like, what? Yeah, you got to talk to my cousin for all that, that yeah. Bentley. Duh, do you. 
Let me find out. <laughs> hey, but you know what? Hey, you want to you want to hear a story about how uh, Argo's cousin uh, look boy me? Who's he, Argo's cousin? It, uh, I want to say he a guy and a guy that does well for himself. So oh, Argo okay. was kind enough to set up this party. It was it was it was stupid. At Carry Guard, Argo had this this thing set up with his family where we went back to the Mayweather um, fight and Noah was there. I think we who was um um you guys just had him on Zach is his name um. Um, come on, Argo, help me out. The box people, you just had them on the show the other day. From Black Rain? No, the hidden boxes thing. The um, oh, you're talking tactical, about tactical walls? Tactical walls. Yeah, tactical oh, walls. Oh, they oh, were there. Oh, oh Black yeah. Rain was there. Yeah, tactical walls was there. Black Rain was there, and you know it was a. He, it was Tim. That's Tim, how you do it. For it. Tim from tactical walls. Tim. But, oh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> and and he was dressed up as Conor McGregor. McGregor. Yeah. So, <laughs> Actually, I'm gonna show that That's picture. That's funny. <laughs> we went I there. Mean, and, there were about 75 people there. He's always he's family. always dressing up as someone, man. He's like a he little, is, you know, man. He is a character, yeah. man. He's, he's a, like a chameleon. This Argo's cousin. Yeah, I walk up to the house, man, and I see my dream car is a Bentley Continental GT. I love, and I yeah. walk up and look. I see like that much of the quarter panel. I didn't even like just that. And for <laughs> terms, I was like, "That's a damn bit." That's that's <laughs> damn Bentley. Like I knew it. Walked around the corner. This dude's got an impressive collection, man. Just impressive. But the Bentley stood out. So when I he's a nice guy. We're talking. He's very humble and you know very warming and welcoming. And you know we get to talking. And I'm like, hey, can I go? Uh, can I go get in that Bentley? And he's like, yeah, man, you go get in the Bentley. And so I walk over to the Bentley and I get out of it. I'm like, thanks, man. That was that was nice. So you got a nice car there. He's like, oh yeah, that's my wife's car. So, are you going to tell us who this is? Is this like a football player, a boxer, a rapper? Oh, no, he's just he's just a, a, a local business. He, he's just a guy who's done well for himself, man. Like nice. I, okay. You know, Respect. just no. I mean, legitimately, people. You know, because he's black and he's young, he's got a lot of money. People th- right. swear he's a drug dealer, but he's not. You know, he's worked hard from high school on to now, you know. Yeah, he and he's, be, you know, he could be like, selling, like he, Lola's a drug dealer. I mean, but she's legitimate. <laughs> yeah. <Pharmaceutical. laughs> you know what I'm saying? So yeah. we're not talking about that. But no, but seriously, no, he owns a trucking company, so. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah that's nice, yeah. man. You know, there's you had a pretty much like Connor. There he is, a, a carry guard. Right? <laughs> oh, uh, let me tell you, man. <laughs> Tim is insane. <laughs> People were stopping him. <laughs> they probably like, Wait thought that was him. Supposed right? to be in Vegas. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, a fight. yeah. And we couldn't find anybody that looked like Mayweather or even resembled him. We were trying to get in the picture, but we couldn't. Yeah, you'd have to find a little tiny dude. <laughs> yeah, I definitely am not that. So. Yeah, Tim. Tim from Tactical Walls, man. He's like um, when I Remember saw Bob, him, Bob Ross. Yeah, Bob. Yeah, he was that guy, and he and it was like blow him. I was like, is this Rob Boss? I mean, his name is, Bob is it Ross. Voss or it's Bob Ross? Ross but he Bob did Ross. Rob Boss. But oh. he, you know, he reversed it and did a Rob Boss. So. Oh yeah, but he really, he really looked at him because when I saw him at the um, the IV eighty eight thing, which I didn't see you out there, Argo. No, I wasn't there. Oh okay. So anyway, I saw him, I saw him there, and I was like, I was, was tripping for a minute. I was like, is this the real dude? <laughs> You know, is this really the guy? What's he's he like Superman? This man, they bring they, they yeah. him back to life, man. Right, he's yeah. back to life. <laughs> yeah, he's gone, brother. So, uh, but no, yeah. <laughs> you know, and it's crazy though. Uh, you know, I wish I would have been there, but again, being a teacher, being an educator, I don't have those fluid days off like like a lot of people can. So, oh, what are, what are you trying to say? I can't get the hell off work, man. If I can get the hell off work, I'll be there. That's, oh, oh, there was no insinuation there, my brother. You know. Hey, Argo, you, I'm going to show this Nova. You think that's all right? I don't care. Yeah. Oh, who's oh. Nova is this? That, well, that's... You guys, the car guys. This is the Nova yes. that was on a hydraulic lift in his damn garage, okay? Oh, my that's God. Cool. Oh, that's sexy. Yeah. Oh, dude, what? you know, nothing can we – have, we have this thing That's called, got, like, slicks. It's tubbed out, oh, man. It's a racer. It's a racer. Like, Holy it's a racer. That's badass right there, that man. That car right what? there has never been beaten. You don't want to see that car get on the track with you. We they go up wow. to the they go up to the actual racetrack and race on Sundays. Oh. So that's uh, wow, man. That that's awesome right there. I've never seen I'm, that's a see Nova. One of his, yeah, you should see his other project. Oh, I got it. I got it. You want to see it? Skyline. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. Oh, wait, let's see this. This is the, just the front of it. I don't think I got a side view. Ooh. 
GTR. Yeah, the, that's the skyline. Oh, that's so wicked right there. Okay, this is a this is a for real legit car dude right here. Oh See, yeah, Walter, and you think I'm bad? Walter, Walter thinks I'm bad. <laughs> I think all, I, have, bad. all I have is like three cars, man. Ask the year on that, or guess the year on that. The year on this one, um, it looks like a twenty. Is it a 2017? 18? Sure. Let me see. Let's see. Uh, huh. I have no idea. I'm gonna say it's like a 17. It is. Yeah. yeah it looks good, man. Yeah. Then there was. Then there was my my what I was drooling over just because it was just just freaking sex. The wife's just, car. The wife's car. That's <laughs> that's not to mention like 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 I mean, come on now. Like, dude's got an RV out there. Yeah, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, no, that's what I would get for Lola. I always tell Lola that one of these days I'll I'll walk into a Bentley dealership and just you know, and put it down. Hey, I'll get her. I'll get her one of those to roll around town. Huh? Everybody's wife's car. I keep getting little. <laughs> I'll take it, Kevin. I'll take it. I'll take it's it. But look, Kevin, first like, of all, you have to understand something. I'll take if it. I get that car for Lola. Who do you think it's really for? That's just an excuse. Are you believing it's for Lola, or? I would I would hope that you wouldn't do Lola like that because <laughs> oh oh you haven't met me yet <laughs> <laughs> you apparently oh. don't know me very well <laughs> I was just trying oh, to make it on good nature Hank that's all thank you <laughs> when he's hey, goofing around she's everybody working everybody kept that's putting uh, HKs up why is everybody putting HKs up I don't know man I want to join the HK I don't party. know uh, I, I if don't, one, if don't, one more person throws up an HK my my brain is gonna explode I don't have one with me tonight oh thank you Walter I appreciate you're it. safe you're safe you know what Hank what? I, I will because Argo is here and you know me and Argo have the Argo started this thing so I'm just running with it where we hijack shows it's his thing and I'm just I'm just getting on it and then everybody was complaining about the brightness of my colors so I'm gonna tone it down for you take okay. this all out it's too bright on the screen man it's just it's too bright I like that better actually tone it right on down. I like that's traditional. You I like know, that. and um, like that. you know, don't want to. This looks like you a know, new HK anything. hat you just broke out of the box. Seriously, <laughs> I'm just saying that we just gonna tone the red down a little bit. Yeah, at least you know HK hats come in boxes. Like, yeah, I'm telling you, how does how the hell does Kevin get every <laughs> single HK paraphernalia that exists, man? I have no idea. Seriously, I'm gonna. You know what? I think a shot show. I'm actually gonna go to the HK yeah. booth. What happened to our feet? Where you go? Click something. Whoa. What happened here? I don't know. Everybody's yeah. back. I think we, we survived. Yeah, it froze yeah. for a second. Did you I, I mean I had like a, I had like a brilliant joke. Okay, what was the joke? Did no one hear my joke? Oh it, I, I, it went into a time freeze, man. What happened? Yeah, I, I told you it was the EMP. That joke was so brilliant, it was like the most <laughs> Funniest joke ever, but I can't say it now. It's gone. Yeah, you can. No, you're gonna it's walk into the HK booth at Shot Show, and and you're going to. Uh, I was gonna say it might be too much blackness for them. I don't know. You're gonna oh. ask for Kevin. <laughs> <Dixon. Okay. laughs> um, um, so I'm gonna walk you in there together. We're gonna take a bunch of pictures. So yeah, I'm gonna come right behind you. If I yeah, yeah. Ar Argo, should... <laughs> Argo. Oh, you're gonna you know. make it like the black attack of the HK booth. <laughs> Just get uh, get Colin Noir. <laughs> He'll be there. Yeah, he'll be there. He better be He's there. Like, got that new gun. The takeover. Out. <laughs> got that new gun out. He yeah. gotta be there. They, I guarantee you, they will call the popo. <laughs> be like, we can uh, bring the popo. With someone us. get security. There are oh, a lot of African Americans, <laughs> and they're armed. No, we no no. At we're never armed right now. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. The yeah. Walter got it right. He said they're gonna go. There's too many brothers in here right now. <laughs> <laughs> the quotient, the balance, <laughs> the force oh, is out of balance. <laughs> and I'm invade. We're gonna invade HK and go right over and invade um, Safety Harbor Firearms. Come on, bring it on down. Bring it on over. No, I was gonna say we should run the gambit. First, you start off at high point. <laughs> <laughs> then go to Taurus. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> but when you you know when you go to the HK booth, you have to have all the like the high point paraphernalia on at that moment. Oh, I'm so kidding. like you know, <laughs> and, and you know what's crazy? I'll do up a, I'll do up a damn high point logo with the HP that looks like the HK logo. <laughs> oh my goodness! Oh, you know, 
That reminds me. That reminds me of something. That reminds me of something. Wait, I'm gonna have to go ahead. You guys talk. I have to look well, up Liam, something right the, now. The parent company of High Point is eight, uh, MKS, I think it's called. Is so it? you could easily do that in the red like that and make it look like uh, like HK. So. Yeah. No blasphemy. We can't. We can't have blasphemy. So Argo, may I? Oh, no, well, uh, well, I don't. I don't understand. Wait, Kevin, hold on a second. Hold on a second, Kevin. What happened? Get ready. Before you ask Argo this question, I'm going to show you something. All right. Boom. Oh, boom. Oh, yeah. Burl. Can you see that? Burl. Yeah. Has anyone yeah. sent you this? Burl. Yeah, I seen it's it on uh, Facebook. Me and um, uh, Chris and Mike talked about it. Okay, cool. There yeah. you go. Yeah. So Somebody got to put me So on. Argo, you see my, that's my patch. Yeah, that's a, that's the patch. That's a Burl patch. <laughs> Argo, so they make a film of my, my Midwest swing. So I was oh, on showing the ER. I don't say that. That's that St. Louis shit, man. Yeah, That's exactly. Because y'all speak, y'all speak Nelly. So that's what everybody else is saying today. You gonna stop making this a demographical thing? I don't know why you always regionalize everything every time we talk. Huh? And we we had uh, I'm man, sorry, Argo, Argo, Argo just hit that nail right on the head. <laughs> Yeah, that pink. Nobody asked you. Yeah. Now, because I say I don't look, I don't know how to say, I don't say barrel. I say burl. It's a burl. That's barrel. Wait, what what else is a barrel? The barrels in your mouth. This, like, this, <laughs> this ain't France. Right. This ain't Jay Z either, though. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever, man. It's a burl. The burl. Right. Damn it. I don't care what you say. Right. That's a burl. Right there. That, that's, right. A, that's a shirt right there. It's right a barrel, where? damn it. Right where? It's a barrel, damn it. That's a t shirt. It's a barrel, Dan. Yeah, you're going to get it. No, we're going to get you he one. He said it's a barrel where? It's, it's, Where's the barrel? Why are you trying to get No, nah, you got a joke. I ain't Where's doing that. Where's the barrel? Again. Where's the barrel? No, nah, hold on, man. He got a joke. I ain't setting myself up. No, nah, I'm good. No jokes. I just want to know. Is it right here or is it right there? <laughs> is it right bar? Is the right bar? Is that the barrel right bar? <laughs> no, nah, it's, look, I ain't scared of y'all. It's right here. Yeah, it's right here. barrel. Look, look, right here. Right right here. I ain't scared. <laughs> that, look, look. Look, white right people, here. this is not how all black people talk. This is specifically regionalized. It is in St. Louis. St. Louis. Oh, man. Okay? And, and, and small places under there like um, Kansas City. You know what? Right? I bet you that white people talk it. like that in St. Louis. Only if they live in the hood. No, <laughs> but seriously. Because if you don't talk like that, then no one, you know, if you if you try to explain, if you're if like, well, Kevin, I'm trying to tell you about this barrel. And then Kevin's going to go, what the hell are you talking about? What you talking about right there? <laughs> yeah. Look, what, is a, what is a barrel? I don't know what a barrel, a barrel is. A barrel with these barrels in your mouth. Yeah. Yeah, whatever. But my, short, my, short, my short barrel shotgun. Oh, yeah, there you go. Yeah. Somebody say barrel. Yeah. Burl. Okay. Yeah. Let's you know. Let's go easy on Kevin. It is yeah, the holidays. It'll be all right. It's the holidays time. Huh? I don't know why. Huh? And I, you know, I tell Argo, I'm like, man, you need to come on holidays tonight. You know what I'm saying? Let's ramble. Yeah, well, it's your fault. We, we supposed to be hijacking the Hank show. He come over <laughs> oh. and start attacking me. I don't know what it is about this show why I constantly get attacked. My Nobody. Man, I wasn't stayed. really attacking you as much as your your addiction. <laughs> it wasn't yeah, Kevin. You. Yeah, Kevin Dixie. He's talking <laughs> about your addiction, <laughs> not your jurisdiction. His diction is very Dixie for real. Like, <laughs> not your perfect diction. Oh man, now not now we are trans diction. <laughs> hey man, it works though. You understand what the hell I'm saying? And I can enunciate word, words very well. It's not my fault that the burrows come out. It's a burrow. I don't know how to fix that. All right. <laughs> Hold on, Hank. Say against. Say against. Against. Hank. Against. It's not against. It's against. Say Camaro. Camaro. <laughs> <laughs> See? So, there we go. Yeah, but when you say those words, it's a lot funnier than when I say it. So I say Camaro, I'm too. Yeah. I'm, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to distract. No, you. Kevin's trying to say, I say Camaro. But that's what it he is. It's a Camaro. How you do you say Camaro, and I say Camaro. <laughs> Camaro. Well, okay, so how do you say car? Car? Car. car. Do you say car? Car. It's car. A car. Okay, so no, it's a car. but say the word care. 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 Uh, you uh. enunciated clearly on that. No, one. only because it only it only has care. one R. That's the thing. It's got one R. In it. So, yeah. so does there. 
Well, and here. <laughs> no, but, that, but those are different. Teacher, no. in conjunction with Bob. Dar has two R's. Dar has two R's. T H E R E, one R. Yeah, but it's got two vowels in front of them. It got two vowels around it, so it helps. It makes it harder to say it. You're not gonna. Uh, can I say you're not gonna change Kevin Dixie? Uh, <laughs> I, no, he's standing on why his grammar is fucked up. Like, <laughs> that's what he's doing. Like, <laughs> you are not. You oh, are man. not gonna save Kevin Dixie if you try to swim oh, in, into that ocean to save Kevin Dixie. You will drown. <laughs> hey, look, I'm supported by Webster. And, and, and everything else that you can think of. So I'm good. This is what happens when you have an educator on the show. Uh, oh, you know what? I forgot. Yes. Uh, what, are you an English teacher or something? No, but I was an English major. Oh, oh. So what do you teach in school? What are you teaching? Uh, <coughs> lunch. Lunch? <laughs> lunch. <laughs> I teach lunch. Yeah, uh, it's special ed. You're teaching special ed? Okay, cool. So you so you are saving kids from winding up like Kevin Dixie. I appreciate that. Uh, yeah. Like what do you mean, Cardinals fan? Yes, I am. Yeah, that's all. Hold on, hold on, hold on, now, bro. Hold on. Now, now, okay. now I gotta go Wait. full red on you. Look, man. This is getting I'm, personal. Disrespect the red birds, man. So what the hell? You know what's amazing to me? Like, can, we, can you just pan around this room? How many oh, damn hats? How many like, damn hats do you have in this room, man? Yeah, it's the same the damn that he took off earlier. It's the same. Well, there, we can make it this way. You know, oh, because my cardinals got white in them too. There we go. You know, now I will turn into cardinal Taliban on you and disrespect my damn red birds. That's Hold not. On, that's a, isn't that a Nike hat? I don't. What, it is. Oh, but he's trying but to make it white and red symbolize some shit that it's not. And I'm sorry, I'm cursing. I apologize. But what we're doing now is yeah. we're playing that game. So, oh, oh boy. Oh, so oh, because you put on a because you put on a hat. Let me see what hat do you have on that? Brewers hat on. What does M mean? What's M for? It means nobody. My team is better than yours. Yeah, but what team, is, what team is that? No, this is. Oh shit! I lost my light. Uh, the oh Brewers. god. Now, now is everyone gonna rep their team now? Please no. No. What, what, so what is the M for? What's the M for? What team? Milwaukee Brewers. Oh, Milwaukee. Okay, the Brewers. Okay, here. Okay. You just repping Santa, huh, Walter? I got your red right here. I got your red. <laughs> Walter just trumped everybody's ass. <laughs> yes, he did. Santa, he's like, Santa Claus, bitches. Ho, 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 mofo. <laughs> Go back you better recognize. I think I'm okay. going to keep it on, too, just for this, just to get Yeah, there you go. That's I see this becoming the thumbnail while, as we're getting demonetized. <laughs> hey, speaking of demonetized. You got to make a face. Make a face, Walter. Uh-oh. Somebody's coming to check on you, Walter. Somebody's. Don't, don't look behind you. Some, someone's sneaking up on you. Oh, he froze. Oh, there you go. Hey, speaking of demonetization, did you have your videos been demonetized? Um, yeah, absolutely. All did the time. You, did you submit them for a review? Yes. We do that all. As a matter of fact, yesterday I did about 50. Holy cow. Yeah. yeah. I did 50. I, uh, I, was, my, taking, I was taking all pictures. All except for the guns in schools are now eligible for monetization again. So I don't know if people know that you can actually submit a, submit your videos for review. Yeah, you if can. they've been flagged, yeah. Yeah, you can. But what's happening, like I have close to 800 videos on YouTube. So they go through every now and then they go through and they hit me with like 50, they demonetize like 50 or a hundred videos at a time. And then we have to go in there and, you know, usually it's something like 10 or 20, but sometimes they'll hit like 50. <laughs> Rock Mills so they look like Elf on a Shelf. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 bitch. <laughs> yeah. So anyway. Yeah, there's there's some ways to deal with the demonetization thing. I think ultimately, you know, this is just like the new normal. This dude ain't gonna keep on disrespecting me. I'm so, going right back. Oh, uh, right uh, uh, wait, wait. You're gonna try to top me? What you got? Someone? No, he was talking about me, but I mean, I'm done. Now we're doing top trumps of of hats now. Right. I mean, I'm gonna have to keep hats up in here or something like that. You're always supposed to have okay. a hat, man. Yeah, well, I mean, this is gonna this is gonna be really bad. Okay, can we can we do some new stuff? Let's do some yeah. news. 
Let's talk about news while uh, while Kevin is going to look for whatever. I don't even know. I'm scared. He he went like he was going to the trail. Yeah, Kevin. Yeah, he's gonna now. He's going to get his real like. He's going to go Taliban on us right now. Yeah, I mean he went scarf in and all that. Yeah, I got some shit somewhere here. I don't know where it is. What hats? No, some of those do rags. Oh, you do? Yeah. <clears throat> they come in handy when it's cold out and stuff. You know, got Wait, like, are you talking about babushkas or? No, no, what are you, no not the babushkas. Shimigas. Shimigas. Shimag. Yeah, shimag. 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 yeah, shimag. yeah, yeah. Shimag. yeah. 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 <clears throat> is it is it shimag or shimag? You say shimag, I shimag. No, you know, but don't shimag. 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 It's shimag. That's how you're supposed shimag. to say it? Yes. Okay. Now we know. Oh, we I don't know. Have have I'm just saying that. I'm standing Yeah, you're just making that up. No, but yeah. I know that's how it's spelled, so that's how I say it. I don't know how you actually pronounce it. I don't know how the locals say it, but I've right. I've always heard people say shamak, so Yeah. Oh. No telling what they say over okay, there. Okay, basically a scarf. Basically a scarf. Say that. Yeah. They called them what? swag swag rags back in the day because all the rappers were wearing them after they, you know, made it back from the Middle East and they got yeah. Popular. So let me hit this in the news thing. Let me. I don't often do this, but let me see if you guys can figure out where this, what movie this line comes from. You shot me in my pinky toe. Harlem Heights. Come on Harlem now. Lights. Okay, oh, who no, said no. it? Who said I did. it? He did. No. Okay, but who said it on Harlem Nights? Oh, Della Reese. Della Reese. Unfortunately, and she passed. Yeah. Unfortunately, Della Reese is no longer with us, man. Oh no. That was yeah. one of my. She was yeah. a great singer. People don't know she was a comedian. <clears throat> But she was also an accomplished vocalist prior to her acting and comedian days. Yeah, yeah, man. She was awesome. So that's like, you know, that's uh that's sad news, sad news. Yeah. You know, so that is sad news. Had my mouth all set for uh, <laughs> some orange juice, it ain't nothing but a swallow <laughs> in the mother. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. That's terrible. Yeah. Um, yeah. <clears throat> So I, I don't know what happened to Kevin. We somehow lost Kevin. Hey, Kevin went went to go. Hey, oh, 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 oh shit. Yeah. I, I knew it. Oh wait, I got one more thing before Kevin shows off his shirt. I do have a Christmas shirt on too, actually. Oh boy. And it says I find I find a lack of Christmas disturbing. <laughs> I just happened to put it on tonight. Just oh, that's badass. That's pretty badass. I, what Kevin is wearing now, I don't oh, is that something to do with the Cardinals? It is. You see that? And he just went and did it. How many times are you going to change your wardrobe? I don't know, man. Argo going to come here tomorrow. He's trying to make it be something it's not. I'm going to put on that damn hat. Hold on. I ain't done. Uh-oh. Just because we're being disrespectful. Go ahead and put this. You know, Milwaukee doesn't have many of these, so we're just going to go and put that uh, ring on, you know. Oh, my goodness gracious. I'm just saying. I'm and just now saying. Argo J left. Okay. So <laughs> this is going to keep going. Gonna keep going. <laughs> This is going to keep going back and forward. Okay, can we hit some new stuff? Yeah, let's hit some news. news. Yeah, so unfortunately, Della Reese passed. Um, You know, finally, Charles Manson's out. Oh, thank God. They should have hung him. So, yeah. Yeah, you know. I mean, why? That's that's California you have to blame for Manson sticking around so long because – Yeah. uh, California – It's so uh, progressive, yes. Yeah. You know, California decided to get rid of the death penalty. Yeah. So we had to deal with Charles Manson's stupid ass for a long time. Yeah, he, but he was 83 or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, come oh, on. Look at that. Oh, oh what, man. what the oh, hell? So he's going to put on okay. his shirts. My bad. You want me to take it off? All right. No, that's okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. <laughs> that is so stupid. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right, I'll take it off. My bad. <laughs> Okay. You was hate. Okay. I, I see you. I see you stunning. Okay. It's cool. You was hate. It's cool. I'm wow. gonna do the bird man hand rub on you. That's all. I'm just gonna do the bird man wow. hand rub. All I can say is wow. Oh, hold on, hold on. This dude. This dude. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. I don't. So what? The Brewers don't have a ring. Is that what you're trying to say, Kevin? I don't know. Can you name the last time the Brewers won anything? I don't know <laughs> shit about sports, in case you don't know. Yeah, I'm just saying. I don't know anything. I don't even know these teams. I don't even know what you guys are talking about. You, Here's you one know. thing I do know. Here's one thing I do know. What's the that? Brewers will win eventually because someone will put it in the script. Okay, I'm sorry. I just <laughs> didn't All know. that stuff is like wrestling to me. I didn't, I didn't know what he was talking about because jewelry is nothing. 
as you if you understand what I'm saying, jewelry is nothing. Really? Hey, jewelry is how many of those y'all got up there? That doesn't matter. Jewelry is nothing. Jewelry is nothing. How many of you guys even wear these rings, bro? <laughs> Why do you all have rings? This makes Hold on. Hey, look, when you're a true fan of your team, that's just what you do, man. You got to do man. it, man. You got to do it. No. Why? Are those are those real diamonds up in those rings? Uh, <laughs> of course they're not. Right. I, would, <laughs> I like to think so. Like, you know, you know, not these rings, but, you know. <laughs> but. So now we know who's buys that stuff. Oh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> you yeah, the buys that. <laughs> these two knuckleheads. <laughs> Bam. So. See the red bird? Bam. <laughs> Bam. Oh my goodness gracious! Yes. Well, uh, look, I don't so know. So these know. are so these are hockey teams you guys are talking about, right? I didn't <laughs> even realize. Make, I didn't make, even realize black people were into hockey this much. Don't, don't make, hockey team. Don't make, <laughs> don't make me jump the screen. And actually, the funny part is one of the hockey superstars for the yeah. Nashville Predators. No, I know. I, yeah. I know this. I'm yeah. just hey. teasing you. I'm just Damn. teasing you. Who, who started hockey? No I don't idea. No who idea. I don't know. I just thought I'd ask. Oh, okay. <laughs> Wait, say let's stupid. ask. Let's ask the one no. guy here who might know something about who started hockey. But I, I, I hear Walter. rumor. I hear tell who, who that started that hockey. Guys in Canada started hockey. Actually, that's what I hear. Walter. Uh. Uh. <laughs> Uh, uh, I don't know for sure. Be a guess. <laughs> you know what I saw? Oh, you know what I saw this weekend on the news? The Nigerian, the, the Nigerian women actually got into the Olympics for bobsled. <laughs> really? What? Yeah. Are you serious? Yeah, I'm Where they training? Hold Wait, hold on. I gotta look this up. It was I, I, unless I was dreaming when I saw this. Maybe I was dreaming about Nigeria. And <laughs> Nigeria. Didn't happen. Is that like a fantasy for you? A women's uh, Nigerian bobsled team or something? Or uh, it's gonna be well, like uh, okay. Who running? Well, yeah. first of all, first of all, I used to live in Nigeria, so I mean, uh, yeah, I know know, it's not against you know. And I like I like the African ladies, you know. Well, well you're um, Lola, one. Lola's not the first African chick I ever you um, know met. Met. <laughs> That's say? a good term. Should yeah. we say? <laughs> We should say uh, nothing. We should platine. say nothing. Yeah. <laughs> we should be yes, quiet. Look at search it right now. Nigerian bobsled team. You will see some 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 thick Nigerian chicks. Yes, they are up in the Olympics. What? I should make that the thumbnail of this. They got search that. Oh, hold on. I'm gonna send you guys this. Uh, I'm gonna no, put this. I'm gonna put this in the chat right now because I want to see you guys' reactions to this. Well, even Walter's gonna like this because. Um, I know for a fact that uh, in in Walter's blood, there's proof that they likes the chocolate ladies. Oh god! You know, you know I know about it, Walter. Oh, <laughs> I know you talking about. Yeah. <laughs> you know, that link you sent is whack. They don't take you to that. Which where you at? Where is it? Is it in space? Wait, hold on. Wait. Let's see. Wait. Did I get the wrong link? Hold on a second. Hold it's on, about hold White House. No, no, no. I got the no. I'm sorry. I sent you guys. I sent you the wrong link. I sent you. What is Pornhub? <laughs> <laughs> That's the wrong link. Ignore that. <laughs> okay. What are boys doing on here, man? What the hell? Yeah, I don't know what's going on. What is <laughs> Oh, don't even. Okay, look at the link I sent you now. Go check that out. And as a matter of fact, I don't know what's gonna come up. There it is. And as a matter of fact, here I'll put it in the chat so the people can see what we're talking about. But there you go. Uh, look there's at them. They they're happy to be there. That's yeah, man. That's that's badassery right there, yeah. man. My my Nigerian sisters are in the the Olympics. Yeah. What? But here's the thing. Oh, they're beautiful. Yeah, yeah say this. pronounce their names, though. Oh, pronounce their names. Okay, hold on. Let me see. Let me see. I didn't even look. At, I didn't look at the names. I'm, you know. <laughs> okay, let's see. Um, Arigun, Ngozi, no. Stay on. Uh, Arigun, yeah, Ngozi Onumwere. Akuma. Akume. Om Omuega. There you go. That's the name. There we right go. There. You did it. Yeah. Man. Yeah, yeah. Way, they are beautiful. Yeah, Seon Adigon. Don't say uh, that. Ngozi. That's Ngozi that you see. That uh, yeah, NG. Yeah, Ngozi. Anumwere. Anumwere. Yeah, and that Kuma. Hey, check Anumwega. this out. Though. What's up? Where the hell are they going to train? That's what I was just saying. <laughs> Not in Nigeria. Nigeria. <laughs> I mean, they could. Uh, uh, the oh, Canada. 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 They're trading in Canada. It says a yeah. uh, wind sport Canada Olympic Park, something like that, maybe. Yes. Oh, so they may be a force to be reckoned with. Well, yeah. If anyone knows the Nigerian women's bobsled team, please. <laughs> I, I, I was rooting. I was rooting for the underdog and those kind of things. Yeah, yeah. 
I might actually watch the Winter Olympics. Now, wait a second. Where is that? I think that's in South Korea. <laughs> this year? It, I is think it this so. this year? When is it? Um, it's early next year, isn't it? I thought that was in South Korea. That's what you keep saying. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. Pretty, pretty. It'll go on. Don't worry about that. Yeah. A couple, you know. a couple of pocketed you know, things with some artillery, not a problem. Don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, uh, you know, the closer we get to that, the more we know that uh, North Korea is totally safe. Somebody's po a Red Sky posted in the chat that they're U.S. based uh, sprinters. Oh, this. Oh, those guys. OK, they're U.S. based sprinters. OK, yeah. so. OK, that's cool. Yeah. Hey, but that's why cool. not? They got yeah. they get yeah. to, the, to the Olympics, though. Yeah, because yeah. you're not going to yeah. get in. It. One of them. One of them has a, a tattoo on her hip. She does. Uh, yeah, nice. I don't know. I don't know very, very, very it's very tasteful. It really is. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's very tasty. What? No tasteful, sir. Tasteful, oh, tasteful. Oh. That's what oh. <laughs> yeah, I, no, I, I, just, I just wanted to know. Inquiring minds. That was Lola's sport back in the days. You know, that's, that's like, I'm not, yeah, I'm not, no, not Bob. Yeah. Next thing you know, the Ghanaian team will be in the Olympics too. <laughs> you know, um, no, but Lola was into the sprinting. You know, the big leg girls. Thunder thighs, man. That's good for the. Oh, oh I love that's it. Good for, that's good for the sprinting. That's good that's, for the soul. Yeah, that's one of my favorite sports, man. I only watch what? like I only oh, watch sports if there's women involved. I don't watch sports with dudes. That's you know I don't do that. I leave that up to you guys. You know, you guys enjoy that. What are you trying to imply there? Yeah. Um, no, oh, nothing. You know, it's a brave new world, and so everything's okay. <laughs> you know, we. We got all different like, categories. <laughs> you guys. <laughs> so I thought that anyway, that was cool. That was pretty cool. So yeah, cool. I might actually watch the Olympics now to see my peoples from from Nigeria if they win. You know what's the funny thing though? I'm wondering. <laughs> what's that? Uh, I mean, you know, did anyone who here has seen like the Jamaican bobsled movie? Did Did you guys yeah. see that? Cool runnings. Cool runnings. Okay, Walter, you saw that? I believe I have, yes. Yeah, so what, like, I mean, you know, is there an equivalent for the Nigerian chicks? Are they going to, you know, how much ganja exactly? <laughs> I mean, but Sanka, what is smoking? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not smoking. I'm breathing. <laughs> I want to see them make that. This, this should be a movie. I don't know if they're going to win any medals or anything like that, but. I guess hey. bobsledding has a lot to do with that first like run, right? When you that take off, you know that initial yeah. boost, and that's who I can tell you who's going to be that anchor in that picture, or right in the middle. Oh, really? Okay. Look at her arms. Usually, the usually yeah, the, she's the, got, the thickest the thickest ones in the back. Yeah, right? She's got yeah. the muscles right there. Yeah. Even on the male teams, the biggest guy's the last one pushing, I think, or something. So. Oh, that's that. I don't. I'm not even going to take that where it sounded like. Oh, well, you know. <laughs> <laughs> like, he's the big guy in the back. He's the hardest one pushing. Like, what, what kind of shit is this, man? Like, yeah. Now, talking about pushing in this like onslaught, I don't know if you guys have seen this like avalanche of sexual harassment stuff. Oh, uh, here it goes, yeah. yeah. In the news, eight women say Charlie Rose sexually harassed them with nudity, groping, and lewd calls. Were they paid for women or what? I have oh, no idea. Yeah. Do you want me to read the article? No, we don't have to, you don't have to. No. Yeah, I mean, it's, what do you guys think about this? I think, like, at some point, people are gonna be snow blinded with this craziness. Yeah, it's, I it's, think that in a, in a day and age of lawsuits and everybody's telling and everybody's feelings being hurt. I think you're going to see a lot more of this happening. It's just, it's the latest fad. It yep. is. It is. And yeah. everything is now falling under the guise of sexual harassment or inappropriate right. sexual behavior. You know, you might've thought that the two of you were, were, were enjoying a little rough sex. You know what I'm saying? Or because she around was goofy, you know, just making comments about each other or something, you know, yeah, you know, or, or anything, man. You know what I mean. But now yeah. she can turn and say, "Oh no, I, I was bruised. See, look at these bruises." And come on now, it's it's, it's getting a, it's getting wild. And I can tell you what, it's a good thing that the technology is coming along. It's a good thing the virtual technology is coming along because yeah, that virtual. <laughs> we, at least we. Like... At, but guess what, man? <laughs> if you don't want to wind up in prison, if you don't want to like get kicked, did you see? Um, oh, what's the name of? Uh, is it Jeffrey Tambor? I don't watch that show that he does on Netflix, the, the thing about 
where you know Jeffrey Tambor, you know who I'm talking about. There's a I don't know what it is. there's a show on Netflix. It's like about being transgendered. It's about a transgender yeah. dude. Mm-hmm. Don't lie, you guys know what that is. No, I've never heard of it. I don't know what it is. I do know I will be on Netflix next year though, so that's cool. <laughs> well, okay, so so there's a show. Jeffrey Tambor is an actor, right? Oh, Transparent. That's the name of the show. Yeah, where were you think? Trans transparent. So anyway, transgender person. Yeah, yeah I, it's I, about. I, I, but he's not. He's not I've obviously. Seen the previews for it. So. Yeah. So obviously, in, you know, in real life, he's not not uh, transgender or whatever. It's a TV show. I've never seen it, but you know, it's gotten a lot of accolades and all that kind of stuff. He quit the show because someone um, accused him of sexual harassment. Oh. Hmm. So it's like this. This stuff is bringing everything down, man. Yeah, you know, it'll, it'll 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 go away. Yeah. It's and, not, down and not that some people don't deserve it, because I'm not saying people do not get sexually harassed. I'm pretty sure it happens more than yeah. we even know, right? But when people are <laughs> falsely accused, what are we going to do about penalizing? <laughs> Excuse me. That are about to be lying on these. Not saying these guys are innocent or guilty. I'm talking about in general. Like, if somebody lies, what should their consequence be? Well, what do you do? We all we've always had that question, right? We've had it's like when the girl screams rape. You know, and puts it puts a guy through all except could you scream rape? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Well, I and see. Sad. I, I see. Uh, Nate Khaleesi says, "Where are the male accusers? No man complains when a woman grabs ass." But, but uh, what's well, the name of that black muscly dude? He said he was sexually harassed. Uh, Terry, that, that, Terry Crews. I think Terry a, Cruz, I think yeah. a guy was sexually harassing him. I think. Yeah, it was a guy. Yeah, that was a dude. Yeah. That was a dude. The guy grabbed his junk. But you know <laughs> that guy did that right in front of his wife. So regard. I mean, you know, no whether. There was no one there, or his wife was there, or whatever. That was that was crazy. Um, yeah, yeah. But you know, it wouldn't. He wouldn't be happy, or his wife wouldn't be happy to seeing a chick doing that to him either. Although I'm sure that there's lots of women that have probably grabbed Terry Crews's private parts in the past, and no one's. But, made but here's the thing, though. You know, I think when a dude does it, somebody who sees it's going to be more shocked than anything. So the the emotion that you're going to feel is not going to be that. Oh, what the hell. Oh hell no! Nah. It's gonna be like what the fuck? You know what I mean? Like this dude just grabbed your thing. Mm-hmm. So, and I think that supersedes many of the early and preliminary emotions that come up. You know? But, yeah. I mean, right now I think this whole thing is it's crazy. Um, you know, the thing is, like when people false accuse you and all of that. Yeah, I don't know. You know, I I see there's people saying that you know that should be uh, you know should be prison time. Mike Ryan saying Kevin Sorbo was harassed. <laughs> yeah, I saw yeah. about that. Yeah. Uh, everybody, everyone. Uh, you were saying something about Bill Clinton, but was that fake news? Well, that's some new stuff. No, it's some new stuff. Some, I guess they're accusing him of doing his normal stuff, I guess you'd say. so. Bill Clinton? I can't believe yeah. it. No. He's such, what? he's such a saint. No. <laughs> I don't, Both I don't. of them are. Both of them are saints. Come on. <laughs> There's no way. They're in the. They're in the. They're, they're the special, like, you know, so that, you know, there's a hair club for men, well, there's a two shot to the head club, and they're, you know, they're the head of it, you know? What I mean? Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I think, you know, I think we know, we, we've known else, for a long time. Somebody, what, 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 speaking of that, somebody else associated with the, um, the selling the, the radioactive stuff to the Russians turned up dead, too, actually. Oh, another, really? Another person involved with that committed suicide. But I thought that uh, Shepard Smith <laughs> proved that that was fake news. <laughs> no, not the, not the not the not the the Russian uh, plutonium stuff or the uranium stuff. No, that's oh, that's what not. was it that Shepard Smith was talking about that he got in trouble with all the Fox oh, I don't News know. fans? I, I can't. Yeah. I don't. Yeah. I don't watch Fox too much anymore because it's, yeah, because it's nonsense. Fox yeah, Shepard Shepard Smith uh, is a uh, he's he he uh, what do you call it? Um, his main thing is. Uh, Getting it all worked up in a frenzy, you know. What well, shock news? Yeah, yeah, just like oh, 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 it's like no. But there was something with Shepard Smith, I think, where he um, what are you making that false accusation or something or what? He called somebody. Uh, I don't know. I can tell you it something. Says on, on his show Tuesday, so I'm guessing last Tuesday, he spent five minutes systematically dismantling conservatives' conspiracy theories surrounding a uranium deal involving former Democratic presidential candidate Hillary Clinton. 
While yes, several sir. other outlets, including the Washington Post fact checker, have already debunked claims about the deal, some Republicans are calling for another special investigation into the matter. In particular, Smith took aim at, the, at President Donald Trump's claim that the deal was a scandal and funneled $145 million to the Clinton Foundation. So that's what you're talking about, right? Right, 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 right. I yeah, don't think so, it, I don't think it's, it's I don't think it's 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 um it's a fake news story. I don't. Yeah, I'm those, I, I believe I believe there's something there. Just no one. You know what's funny? No one's going to dig into that though. I don't. Well, I think they're going to keep digging into Russia. People are digging into. Well, when the when the people investigating Trump dug into Russia is when they started finding out about the Clintons. It, it didn't go right. the way that they suspected it would go. So, you know. Yeah. Will anything Archangel, ever come of it? No. Yeah. Archangel says, um, does anyone else notice KD harassing his HK with that 50? <laughs> Nothing but right. respect at NLC. <laughs> don't, don't do that to a 50 cal round. You hear me now? Come on now. I was, look, I just wanted to see, I wanted to make it fit. You're trying burrow. to stick it in its burrow? I wanted to fit in my burrow. That's sexual harassment right there. I, it, it not, it doesn't because it won't fit. So. If it don't yeah, fit, that makes it race. That makes it yeah, race. The tip is in. The tip is in. Are you trying to get it in the back side of that gun or something? Or what? The tip is in. It doesn't, it doesn't fit my burrow. So I wanted my own 50 cal pistol, man. Yeah, I mean, Kevin, hold that up to the screen. Hold it up to the screen. Hold it up a little bit. Hold it up. Hold it up. Uh, okay. Thanks for the. That will be the thumbnail. Thumbnail, I figured. <laughs> We're going to have a thumbnail competition tonight. There you go. This is what it's supposed to go into, Kevin. This. Yeah, how did you get a See red enforce? That's what I. How did you get a red APL? That's what I want to know. Midwest Circle, my man. I can get you hooked up. Oh, they circled it. Okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, so Walter, uh, all of us don't have a, a fifty oh, caliber yeah. pistols just laying around, you know. But if you wanted to send me one for I can test fire this round, that'd be awesome. <laughs> that one round. <laughs> yeah, I want to. That's all you got. Fire <laughs> one round. You just got stole like that. <laughs> Oh boy, have you you shot fifties before? I'm sure, right? You've yeah, yeah. I shot them, but I, I haven't shot, shot Barrett. Walters. No. Yeah, you shot. Yeah, you shot a Barrett. That that hurt Walter's feelings. No, I think he even I've shot that shot one because of an S too. Yeah, I uh, shot. I've shot a Barrett. I've shot. I've shot a couple of Barretts. I shot oh, the. I did shoot a fifty. I did shoot I a Barrett. The, the Barrett, but I've shot a Mob Deuce. I ran that sucker full automatic in Utah. That yeah. was fun. <laughs> I haven't uh, done that. Deuce, so. Um, man, that was a blast. A mile away with tracers at a van. Yeah, you hit it. Fun. You um, hit it. Uh, yeah, like the, the third try. I got it. Uh, well, you, <laughs> you walk them in. You, you walk them in. That's what you do. Yeah, that's not bad. I had never shot it, and they they essentially and I I knew the name of it, but I forgot. Essentially, it's a massive EOTech. The yeah, thing oh, yeah, is, yeah. thing is like, oh, it's like it's a on, on, a, on a Dylan. Huge. Oh no, you said it was a my deuce. It yeah. was a Mod Deuce. Yeah. And it was this massive EOTech looking thing. Matter and you fact, sit there. I think Midwest Industry makes the mounts for those. If I'm not mistaken. They could. They could. It was fun as heck, though. But I want to shoot one of Walters. One of Walters' fifties. Okay, we'll have to work on make that. that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's gonna be a it thing. Go out and run through the fifty. Yeah, we're only a few miles away, few few hours away from each other. Right. Yeah. Um, see if I can put a fifty through the center of your ring without 50. jacking it up. <laughs> um, um, hold on. That sounds. Let's do the fifty championships first. That's okay. You, you, you don't. Whatever. We're in the lead, though. Right. Um, you know what? I see. This is totally, totally non-related. No, I'm sorry. But this is a, it, it this, just this, up. Huh? So you want to talk about the dude that broke his AR? Let's talk about those people. Um. Okay. I was going to talk about something. I just got this thing from Bud's Gun Shop that they had a, a Kel-Tec PMR 30s back in stock. But when I look at the website, it's four ninety nine. That's a little expensive. Oh, that's the pistol, right? Yeah, PMR yeah. Carries pistol. Yeah. What you say, yeah. Tyvin was asking. Did Tyvin talk to you about that? Um, yes, I think he asked me about the PMR. Listen, I think the PMR is, you know, twenty-two Magnum. It's it's not the only one that exists. Um, you know, magazine. It's one of the most common, though. Yeah, semi-auto um, twenty-two Magnum. I think that the others, the other people that were making things like that, they're really not around. Yeah. So. You know, it's it's lightweight and it works. I don't load it up to thirty most of the time. I load to like twenty five or twenty something, and you have to look out for rim lock and all that. But all those things have to do with the fact that they're using the twenty two Magnum, 
cartridge, you know, yeah, it's rimfire and not centerfire, but you, you can use it. It could be a lightweight gun that you walk around with when you're hunting or walking around in the woods and all that kind of stuff. And, <clears throat> and if you had to, you could defend yourself with it. Although, oh, heck yeah, 22 Magnum's awesome. Yeah, you know, you might want to make sure you get something a little bit more reliable. Well, I mean, you know, it, it works. Yeah. That was one of the guns that we would recommend when people couldn't traditional semi-auto, but yeah. they didn't want a revolver, you know, yeah. and the 22 mag gave enough oomph to be a stopper. You know what I mean? You know, shot oh, yeah. placement, of yeah. course. But if, still. You, if, if you know what you're doing, that's the thing. Like, you have to know, you just know what could happen with the gun. That's what I'm saying. Like, know how to load it properly and then know what to do. If, some, if you have something, you just rack the slide or know how to deal with that fast enough. Mm -hmm. to defend yourself and then i think you know you're fine so yeah i mean what the hell man this dude what has happened? changed his hat again <laughs> it got he technical. Stack. you didn't see the stack he brought back like no i, I didn't realize he, he brought back a whole bunch of me, though. yeah <laughs> so tactical. you know what I, walter go ahead what was that i'm just gonna say the tactical bird but uh yeah walter what's like a like what would be a good alternative man people are always saying that Celtic should build this thing in this round or that round right. I don't know what would be a good alternative that you could still get a bunch of rounds into a magazine but it would be rimfire um oh oh rimfire it wouldn't be rimfire I mean not rimfire I'm sorry centerfire yeah yeah centerfire yeah it's yeah it's tough I mean unless you get down to like M1 carbine size um the M1 carbine round is pretty good, but that's long, so it makes a really fat, thick grip when you, when it when you put the mag in. So, um, talk around. So, in, yeah, in the pistol. Yeah, yeah, in the pistol. Oh. Yeah, yeah, uh, but there's not, not many people have made that either. So that's kind of an oddball too. So. Yeah, I mean, um, is it is it not feasible for someone to do 22 Magnum centerfire? Is it like too difficult? Well, there's nobody does. Yeah, no one does. But is it like well, too impossible? It's, it's, to it's not impossible. You just have to make a, the cartridge becomes more complicated then. Yeah. Um, it, a whole nother type of cartridge. Yeah. Probably more, probably more expensive than 22 Magnum, which is already probably. expensive as it is. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there, um, there is the five, seven round, but the five, seven, yeah. five, seven's a hell of a round. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's uh, a good round. Yeah. I mean, that's FN. Get your FN hat out, man. Um, <laughs> I mean, I can go oh, get oh, it. Oh, 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 boy. But that's that's not a cheap round either. But still, it's a nice small cartridge. It would fit in a magazine. I feel um, like this dude just went to war on me, so I had to let him know it's nothing. Uh, <laughs> these, two, these two are totally insane. You guys are bad, man. <laughs> Speaking of five seven, nothing. there's five seven right there. So, oh yeah, you got a F, uh, FN. What is the F? ninety. PS ninety. Yeah, P ninety mag. Yeah. What's the blue tip? Uh, it's just a plastic <laughs> tip. It's supposed to be. It's more like a um, a civilian round. Yeah, that's how it comes. Yeah, all of it. Like even the federal comes with the blue tip. Like it's just the like you said the designation between that and the uh, what is it the black tip ones? Yeah, which are probably black tips are probably uh, law like enforcement. Yeah, steel core or something like Penetrators, that. Traders. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Those are the ones that they want. Those are the rounds that they that made them want to ban those guns. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's that uh -huh. particular brand of ammo. I mean, that I was working for the I was working for the PD back when that round first got introduced to the US market and the way that they advertised it on a safety bulletin is that there's a round now out of a handgun that can penetrate 40 uh Kevlar vest 40 that's or what level, it's saying. Level? Getting, getting cold in here no 40 no 40, 40 at the same time like layered 40, 40? At the same time, like 40 yeah 40 <laughs> of them and I'm like that's a bit much but that's how they were like scaring everybody with it mm -hmm. yeah. hey man we look Okay. Uh -oh, what, I don't know what that is it. now. What's he doing now? Oh, sorry. He's showing it. He's, he's okay. I got you. <laughs> oh, I, <was> <laughs> I like the way you fight, though. I, like <laughs> I hope the people out there can appreciate what all these teams are because I have no man. clue. <laughs> well, as somebody said, they, somebody in the comments asked, "Does Milwaukee even still have a baseball team?" <laughs> Do you even still have a television? Whoever said that, <laughs> <laughs> Kevin, you need to give that person who said that. You need to give them some kind of prize. They didn't say that. Kevin just made that up, trying to pass off. Oh, 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 I totally did not make else. it up. It is definitely in the comments. I am telling you, it's in okay, the comments. Okay, whoever said it, sound off again, so we know who you are. That we that way yeah, who made, we can who make made the comments we can make Kevin we can make Kevin Wait, give you an HK hat. Yeah, you have access if you have the um the YouTube the 
the short link that we sent, you open that in another window, and then you can see the chat. Yeah. So, or uh, do like I do and get a second PC. Yeah. See, Walter's all high tech. Well, I just happen to have another one. So. Well, multiple technologies going on. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Do you guys have any news? Okay. One of you guys come well, up. Hey, you know what? I was looking at the firearms blog, real quick, and they they showed a story about an English elderly English. Oh yes. Elderly British man jailed for the collection of over one hundred <laughs> illegal firearms. Yes, this is this is insane. <laughs> this guy, this guy's okay. First thing is, let's say this is clear. He's seventy four, right? Okay. Yeah. But you look at that. The gun he's got the gun he's got on the front there that that AR10 the that's an early AR10 that's probably fetch four or five thousand bucks Money. here yeah oh yeah um, yeah yeah now am I wrong or did they confiscate these guns and some of them went to museums that's what they were saying but I guess there was a fire at his house and that's how they found this stuff yeah but these uh, and these are also they're not destroying these guns right well they'll they'll deactivate them which will destroy wow them. South African commando SMG. Oh. I've what? seen those before. I've seen them before. That's they're piece nice. Of, they're a piece of junk. Oh, really? Okay. He has the Czech CZ Model 25. I sell stuff for that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this dude yeah. had a nice list something. Yeah, he yeah. has he had some cool guns. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but unfortunately, you know, because the laws are where they are, man, they throw the book at you with any little thing over there. So. Yeah. This is like first generation high points, some of them. <laughs> <laughs> and these. And and definitely like these these were um, some of these were full auto right or yeah Mac ten that a picture of Mac ten there so yeah that's right. a yeah friend gun yeah no so he was a tinker he probably one of these old guys that always like so tinker was this stuff. guy a criminal did this guy yeah. did this guy hurt anyone nope. Um, nope nope yeah so you're gonna take a seventy something year old man and put him in prison <laughs> five years five years he's he probably won't even live that long well you know yeah that's, that's not uh, cool. That's uh, that's the way the Brits work. So yeah, unfortunately, I was just in. I was just in. Um, in the I mean, at least like house house arrest or something. You know what I'm saying? Well, like, you why, know, why would him, you put somebody? Well, if he likes fixing stuff, make him go play someplace where he's got to fix stuff. You know, get some use, useful time out of him. Don't throw him in jail with a bunch of. Yeah, like, yeah. Send him to America. Yeah, we'll yeah. take him. Yeah, we'll yeah. use him like yeah. that. He's welcome over here. You know, yeah. <laughs> we won't put him in jail. I mean, you know? I'm sure he knows a couple things. About guns. I mean, yeah, who's that guy we sent back? So it'd be like an even trade. What's that guy's name we sent back a few years back? The, uh, the uh, TV host. What was that dude's name? Oh, the guy on CNN, Pierce Morgan's ass. Oh, yeah, that, that goofy bastard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, I think that's too bad. I mean, you're going to take this guy away from his family and all that kind of stuff. And, and uh, yes, I know he committed some crimes, but well, by, he, by he, owning he, them, by owning them. But yeah. it's a natural right for, for people to own guns. Yeah. You, you know what I mean? So. Yeah. Obviously, England is not a free place, even though they profess to be. You know, <laughs> I mean, England, like the first of all, Europe is all fucked up. But you know, in England, they profess to be so awesome. Like you know, um, do you guys remember when England had like that uh, black prime minister? Remember that guy? Remember, remember the black prime minister over there? Uh, no. No, exactly. <laughs> not uh, that. Not that. That's what you have to do. I'm just what saying. You will, what you will remember is. The Muslim part of it and what'll happen in the end. So yeah, yeah, <laughs> um, absolutely. Uh, but for you guys that like the M and P two point oh, there's some uh, somebody put some wood on them. Some it's on wood. the Farmers blog. War <laughs> Armament Research did that. Yeah. Um. By the way, this dude right here, big M and P fan. Hannibal oh, yeah. Salinas. This Hannibal's the beast. This guy Argo is it Argo. I think you switched over from Glock, right? No, I switched to Glock from M and P, but I still love M and P. Oh, you went the other way. No, yeah, because it, again, like 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 Jaeger says, you know, until they start making uh, M and P the size of a Glock nineteen, you know, there it is. The Glock nineteen is probably the perfectly, you know, sized gun. Yeah, but they just came out everything. with the compact. Yeah, I know, I'm now, just now. Yeah, you know what now. I mean. Yeah. So, kind of, you know, but guess what? We're running it. So. Yeah. Uh, by the way, Elton McCollum says, move to the States and have never looked back. I've got a stack of shooties now. So I'm <laughs> guessing, right, uh, I'm guessing, I don't know, did you come over from England? So he's Elton. got his, he's got his shooters. He's, he's got, got his shooters. shooters. Got his shooters, yeah? Yeah. Got my shooters. <laughs> I'm in America. I'm free. 
<laughs> That's awesome, man. I know how it is. Listen, I know I, one thing when my English friends come over, we go shooting uh -huh. and they just say ear to ear grins. Say, Woo! Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, people in England like to make fun of America, but when they come to America, they want they, they, they want a slight they want a good old slice of freedom. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it was uh, just it's good a show teeth, man. big boobies, guns. I mean, what else? Well, yeah, what else do you need? <laughs> huh? What did I miss? <laughs> <laughs> what were you? What, 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 why were you distracted and you missed out on the on the? Boobies? I was fucking reading something. I don't know, man. Oh, okay, okay. Scotland. So we just had. It was funny because we just had um at the the range St. Louis West up here in St. Louis. We just had a show. Um, we helped do something for Netflix, mm -hmm. and I forget the name of the show. It's like a cold killer case show, something. But they came okay. in, and they're from from the UK, and they came over to film for Netflix, and we're we're there working with them. And the dudes that are filming it had never shot a gun before, so we we let them uh, shoot the KSG and a couple other guns, and they're like, "This is cool. This is awesome. Yeah, you shouldn't move." I'm like, "Oh, but we can't." I'm like, all right, you know, we live free over here, so. But I was just in the UK. I was just in the UK. It's a, it's a territory of the UK. It's called Connecticut. I was just there. <laughs> no, it's yeah. pretty, and let me, <clears throat> this got what, are you looking up something? No, no, go ahead. No, um, before I forget this, he's probably not even watching the show, but I want to shout out John Jackson. At some point in the future, he may actually watch this show. He's probably out celebrating right now because that's, that's like a friend of mine, longtime supporter of the Hank Strange situation. He's from Australia, and he just passed his citizenship test. So, boom. Right. Congratulations. <clears throat> yeah, it's so. Not, I was going to say time to get drunk, but he's from Australia, so that's like. Yeah, that's uh, a, you're you not know. going to be able to make him drunk. <laughs> yeah, that's like almost being from Wisconsin, so. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, lest I forget, also El Tenda, I think it yes. was like, was it two weeks ago that El Tenda got his citizenship? A month ago, I think, something like that, yeah. Yeah, I think it was, yeah, I think it was like two weeks or maybe a month ago or something, and I think we, we forgot to mention that as well. Congratulations to Altenda. Yep. Also now an American. I love yep. it when all these, like, uh, you yep. know, yeah, when all these dudes become Americans that are gun guys, that's a good thing. Yeah. You know, yeah. that's what we need, you know? Like my buddy Sky from South Africa. Same yeah. thing. So if you were if you were over in the UK or anywhere else where you couldn't own guns, what do you guys think the first gun you would want to shoot would be? When you anywhere. get over here, something yeah. that goes mm. boom, 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 boom. Uh, yeah, like an M sixteen. <laughs> like I did That's to my yeah. <laughs> yeah, it has to be like an M sixteen. I would think. I would agree, but yeah, it's got to. I'll give them a Foster's. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That's um, not yeah. No, the uh, Guinness Stout man. All day long. Oh yeah, that's how to put the leg your pencil. Only only real men drink the Guinness Stout. Yeah. And it's got to. Oh, you don't like the you don't like the Guinness Stout, Walter? What? Yeah. Oh, I can't believe this! Wow. Yeah. You know, I Guinness... drink all kinds. First of all, I'm from I live in Wisconsin. We drink beer. <laughs> no <laughs> kidding. <Water>. Like <laughs> no. so, but the Stout is one of the top three. Oh, yeah, really? Guinness Stout is really good for you, by the way. Um, you know, if you're having, you know, for anyone out there, I'm not trying to make <laughs> if any If you're having some problems, it'll yeah. clear you right up. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not trying to make any <laughs> accusations out there. But if you're having problems, you know, Guinness Stout is good for the blood flow. I'm just yeah. saying. That's the same thing that Viagra does. <laughs> right. I'm just saying, blood flow. Guinness Stout, that, like I said, it'll put lead in your pencil, for real. Yeah. Um, doctors recommend it to pregnant ladies all the time to help them with the blood flow. Oh, also recommend it to help you make the ladies pregnant. Oh, well. <laughs> you know? Yeah. So there you go. Guinness Stout. Just just a little tip. Um, you can make smoothies out of it if you don't like how it tastes. <laughs> oh, it's yeah. awesome. Mix Guinness with, uh, yeah, with a, ice cream? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Put, you can put peanut butter, peanut butter, oh, yeah. bananas. Guinness you, sure you, you sure you didn't pick that up? Blend it. No, it's good. It's good stuff. No, I'm serious. It's it's absolutely delicious. Yeah. Do you, uh, Argo? Do you have like some Caribbean background or anything like that? Do you have some? Oh, okay. Just See, just just the what? No, because because no, no, <laughs> yeah, because the the West <laughs> Indian guys know about this. Yeah, yeah. The the dudes from the Caribbean know about this, but you know. Well, yeah, no, seriously. But you know, what, I, what are you trying? Should I put on my voter accent? 
Oh, no. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> Please. Go easy. Go easy. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But Walter's saying, Walter's saying he has no, you, you say you, you've you never had to use the Guinness Stout or any other, uh, I'm going to you know, any other aids. Is that what you're I'm saying? Any, me. any other assistance, devices oh, yeah. of assistance? Not aids. No, not aids. No, no not aids. <laughs> no, <not> <laughs> you, do you have any aids you want to share? <laughs> oh, motherfucker, who just goes around asking for aids? <laughs> like, damn. Hmm. No, I meant like assistance. I, I know, know what you uh, meant, but you know. Yeah. You Walter, you got no answers here. Yeah. Walter's looking away. No, I, I'm, no, I'm just, no, I'm no. just listening. That's all. Yeah, yeah, good. Everything. I'm, I'm, good I'm being a good there. student tonight. I'm just listening. <laughs> <laughs> Walter's like, man, yo, Hank Strange. Next time, send me the memo. Funny when you go to England and the Englishmen like to drink uh, Coors Light. Oh, that's a that's sacrilege. Well, one of the guys I know, he's like pulls out Coors Light, and I'm like, no. What the That's, hell is that? He's not I British. Don't, I don't drink Coors Light here. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Coors Light. Or I had yeah, I had German friend that would come over and he'd drink Budweiser. Budweiser was a big deal. Oh wow. Because yeah. they used to get but they used to get it from the base, you know, the commissary where they you know, own stuff and it's like, So what do you think about Heineken? You don't like the Heineken? Me? I like Heineken. 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 Skunky beer. Oh, okay. But I yeah. love it though. Yeah. But I love it's, green. It's, yeah, no, it's either like Heineken's or Cor Corona's are pretty good, or Dos Equis. Corona, Corona tastes like piss. No, I don't like Corona. No, any yeah. beer you got to put fruit in to drink it? No. Oh, <laughs> fruit is a lemon a fruit? Probably. Is a lime a lime a fruit? I don't know. I think Corona's not real high end in Mexico, actually. They, but they no. sell a lot. So of what? Beer. So what's the high? Is Dos? What about Dos Equis? Dos Equis is good. Dos Equis, all right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Um, I, I drink Amaretta sour, so I don't. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Uh oh. Somebody I thought you were going to say Moscato. No. Oh, would yeah. you like a little brandy? <laughs> <laughs> Look. Anyway, I, I, I can't, I'm, I'm a lightweight. I'll admit it. Train, pull out the training wheels. Oh, yeah, uh, I'm going to tell uh, you right now. <laughs> you guys ever, you, thank you ever, you ever tried the, uh, and it was, it was, he didn't even get crazy with me. You ever, be careful. You ever, the, uh, you've been drinking with Argo before, haven't you? <laughs> I, listen, first of all, I've hung out with Argo in a party. Drinking, uh, no. <laughs> Okay, be, be careful. I know better than that. I know I hear stories. I hear. We hang out with Argo. Lola does the drinking. Yeah, and Lola, Lola handles the talk. Yeah, I know. <laughs> like as as Kevin is saying, I am lightweight. Yeah, I'm lightweight. <laughs> well, that's all right. Yeah, you know. Uh, like, like, I have to like sip. You know, I like nurse that beer, like one beer, and I'm just like nursing it all night. I'm man. usually the dude. Like we drink to the point where at least one or two people are puking. <laughs> and I'm still like, yeah. Drink some more. So like, Fee, yeah. So Philo says, Pacifico, you idiots. <laughs> I don't even know what is that. Pacifico is that a beer? Budweiser. Oh, Budweiser. Budweiser. Uh, man, I am in St. Louis, so Bush, Bush beer, Bush, Bush. all that. Yeah. Um, Lola says Yingling, Yingling for the younglings, for the young people out there. Oh. So there okay, you go, Pacifico. There you go, Pacifico. It is a beer. It is a beer. Okay. Uh, Guess what? Yeah. I, I drink what I like, and I drink bear. everything. <laughs> bear. Yeah. Burr. Right. Burr. Burr. Some drink burr. people have barrels, and some people have a beer. Burr. Have a beer. You know what I actually like? Um, I I mean, this is gonna be this is gonna sound bad because you guys are talking about beer, but um, I like a ginger beer. I like a ginger beer. Oh, like ginger a, beer is awesome. Dude. I like a good ginger beer, and I have found the best ginger beer in the world. Where? Where? Goslingers. You ever heard of those? I've heard of it. I've heard Gosling of it. Yeah. yeah, those are it's supposed to be like, it. it's 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 hard to get it. It's hard to get the Goslinger because I guess it's made by this company that's like sells rum and you're supposed to mix the Goslinger with the rum. Mm. The Goslinger mm. ginger beer, which that's what that's how Lola does it. Or oh, I'm sorry, it's not. It's Gosling. 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 Excuse me. Yeah, now I'm doing a Kevin. I call it Goslinger. <laughs> somebody somebody <laughs> just asked, is this still a gun show? <laughs> no, this is a, this is free for all. This is lifestyle. <laughs> it's free for all. Um, yeah, Goslings. That's actually pretty good ginger beer. Okay, yeah. you want a gun? Here, here's a gun. Yeah, I was gonna say let's let's feed some yeah. guns. Show some guns. Okay, you let's got a cooler gun. Gun Who was that asking about the gun? What, is it a gun show? Who was it? I don't know. Here. Yeah. Uh, Mike go. Ryan said, I thought you said ginger beard had the, and he was self-conscious about it. <laughs> Argo, who is that you got there? Uh, oh, Tango Chaser says, ginger beard, is it red? 
This? Okay, let's mm -hmm. go. Argo. Okay. What's that? This is my build. This is my build. My little sexy. No. 11, two and a half folding. Eight. So what's that? Is that a... Um, That's a law. Law tactical folder? Okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, cool. Law. Very nice. And then you can actually see in here my uh, SOB. My Griffin Armament Suppressor Optimized Buffer. Oh, okay. Mm. Very, nice. Very nice. Very nice. Let's see. Some more Griffin. Griffin. Right here. Mm. Okay. Uh, this is... You're all Griffin armed out. No, this is, uh, I, I was going, I had a theme here. Where are we at? Let me see. Can you see it? No, we can't see. Uh, what is it? Uh, is it BCM, BCM? BCM. Okay, BCM. BCM, BCM. Okay, this is BCM. Uh, my sights are the new Griffin Low Pros, which are badass, by the way. Yeah. Oh, man, they're, they're, those, they're stellar. Uh, and on the end, my greasy, my BC, I mean, my uh, Griffin uh, M4SD2. Mm. Looks it good. Goes, it goes, shh. <laughs> <laughs> it goes, shh. Yeah. I have the, I just got the M4SD2 can. Empty mag, people, before we have a nice Don't freak, don't ass. freak, yeah, don't freak, yeah. Yeah, so, you know, but yeah. Oh, Midwest, Midwest Express, Midwest Industries. Rail scales. That's a rep for the Midwest. No, everything here except for the rail scales and the law, and of course the Magpul, was a Wisconsin product. So this is my all Wisconsin gun. I, I named her the Honey Badger. Oh, yeah. oh I see. Yeah, even though she's not a Honey Badger, but I would, didn't want to name it the Badger, but mm -hmm. I mean, I'm sorry, not the, the Rabbit Badger. What did I say? Honey Badger? Okay, yeah, clean it up. Yeah. <laughs> clean it up. <laughs> the Rabbit Badger. I'm sorry. Yeah. She's got rabies. Yeah, that's what we call Hillary Clinton. <laughs> I call her Sea Hag. That's what I call her. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but it's a pretty cool gun. No, it is nice. Argo, now you got to tell us what's the uh, how much money you got into that thing. It, it's nice. <laughs> <laughs> if you have to ask, you cannot afford it. <laughs> uh huh. Oh, no, it don't hurt I mean, to ask. Uh, I mean, <laughs> no, it doesn't. Let's see. I don't know, man. It's got the. It's got a smooth ass. I don't know, man. There's a lot of. Look, there's some money in that gun. Yeah. See, when I answer those questions, I get harassed. Yeah. Lots, of department, lots of department of education money. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So Wardex wants to know who has the largest gun. That's probably going to be Walter. What? No. Yeah. Well, I, got well, that, I got that 50 cal, but I just saw a post. Somebody posted. I think uh, they're saying. Oh, okay. You okay. Yeah, I'm going to that machine gun shoot at the Wyoming Antelope Club. A Riss. Oh, Ashley okay. McBee. Yeah, Ashley McBee. Oh, you're going yeah. to that? Yeah, I'm, I've, I've talked to them already about that. So I'll be there with my 50 cal stuff and all the other junk I got. So Okay, who's Ashley McBee? Uh, I'm not sure. Okay. And the Wyoming Antelope Club, what's that all about? That's down by us. I mean, I forgot to tell you about it. It's coming up oh. in the beginning of January. Okay, January 6th. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All yeah. right. We'll have to we'll have to look yeah. into that. Mochi. I think I did just get some kind of message that came across. Yeah, it's close to my it's close to where I'm at, so it's convenient. It's yeah. actually a it's like I would call like an urban range, you know, because it's not out in the country. But mm -hmm. they got baffles and all that stuff, so yeah, it's cool. Yeah. Um Highway Run said thank you to Argo J for something. Don't know what that's about. Yeah, I don't know. Um uh, any yeah. Daewoo people out there? Yes, right here. Yeah. Oh, somebody yeah. Said, somebody here's here's said thank you for going local. I, I always try to go local. Yeah. Whenever I can. Uh, they, you know, there's some really cool companies. One of the articles I was writing, people always want to know where's the next biggest and baddest thing, and and I want the top of the line shit. But look in your own cities and your own states. Yeah. I guarantee you, there's a badass manufacturer in your own state yeah. that's putting out excellent yeah. hardware, and it's not going to cost you an arm and a leg. To, to to make things exactly how you want it, you know yeah. what I mean. So you know, look, yeah, we look support we support state. Florida companies as much as we can. So if there's any Florida companies out there that you know maybe feel underloved, let us know. We'll at least check your stuff out. But yeah, that's a good thing to do. Okay, Walter, show us this. Uh, okay, well, one of my day wounds. This was a uh, one post one of them. I have two of them. Okay. Okay. Wow. Uh, they're both post band guns. Um, this one looks good. The reason I have two is because somebody said, hey, you want to buy a Daewoo? And I said, sure. 
So mm -hmm. and the price the price wasn't bad. So so this is non. Is this a folding? No, that's non. -folding no, it's, it's, I, it, originally they had that thump, the nasty looking thumb hole stock thumb on it. Hole. Oh, so okay. I replaced oh, it with a. Oh my American. god. <laughs> I'm sorry. You just made me think about this Feinstein bill when you said thumb hole. Yeah, yeah. So I replaced yeah. all that stuff with some Americanski made stuff. And um, for those who don't know, the day was the day was a mix of. Um, AK and AR. So you got the AK gas system and the AR bolt system with a AR type AR type lower. Yeah, AR, mag. AR magazines. Yeah. Yeah. So very reliable. Still first issue stuff with the Korean military. Yeah. And um, you know, I like them. Yeah. The R. Yeah. What is it? The R O. The R O K. Yes. The R O K. Yeah. 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 R O K. Yeah. I have one. I have a. I have a Daewoo. Very nice gun. Yep, yep. You know, um, and Highway Run was saying um, thanks for the gun, the the gun porn. What okay. what the folks here call Gorn. So Gorn there you go, Walter. Anyone else have something before I show some stuff? No, go go ahead. Yeah, we well, just guess. bring the AR. I mean the S S H T fifty. Oh, the fifty. Okay, that's the big gun. This is the the mother of all pistols. So to speak. Oh yeah. Yeah. The mop. It's a mop. The Moab. The Moab. Right here. Send me oh. that before I can test fire this round. How about you send that round to us and we'll we'll test it for you. <laughs> and we'll make sure it's safe. Kevin. We'll send you back the show we'll, casing. We'll make sure it's safe. <laughs> I'll even send you back a bottle opener. How's that? Yeah, yeah, there you go. Thank you. No. No. Yeah. No. If you look at the end of the um, Guns and Gear has a video that's up right now where he's shooting with me and we're shooting a bunch of Caltech guns. I recommend everyone look at that video all the way to the end because then you'll get to see us shooting the, these uh, guns the or the best. pistol. The best part is the end. Yes, the best part is the end. Well, we in my shooting. opinion, anyway. So. Yeah. Well, we are shooting the pistols and stuff yes, like they that. So. They, they shoot a bunch of other stuff, too. And speaking of the pistols, I'm going to take from this is my tactical walls area right here. So, you know, you guys can see. Look, look right there. Behind me. It says tactical walls there behind me. So let me see. I'll lock this in for a second so you guys can see. I'll take this off. There you go. Hey, are you still broadcasting from the studio place? Yeah. Yeah, I'm in Gainesville. Oh, I'm in the Big Daddy Gun Studio. Why? Yeah, that's what I was. That's what I was wondering. Oh, oh, you know what? Um, I like what you've done. Yeah. Where did my uh, Where did my Where did my uh, lower the third go? Took the spot. No, that's <laughs> that's weird. My my uh, my logo went away. Let me put it back on here real quick. Oh, your lower third thing. Yeah, I'm glad you reminded me of that. But no, it's not. It doesn't want to come back on. Yeah. There's been a lot of yeah. Today. yeah. Somehow we got kicked out. Okay, let's not worry about that too much. The EMP. Yeah, I'm telling you, they got we got hit up, man. Man, what'd you do? Who'd you piss off yeah, this guy? We got hit up, you know. So the any, anyway, let me see if I can hold on. Let me see if I can get it back on here for a second. We got to represent. No, it's not coming back on. Uh oh. So there you go. Can't get it back on. So I will just maybe turn that off. And turn this on. Boom. There you go. I'm gonna change my tagline. You guys, someone else show some guns while I'm working on this. Someone else show some guns. So that's I got gun accessories. That's, that's what you got to do. Someone else show guns. I just whipped out the help up. Yeah, you got to show. Somebody tell me what's wrong with this gun that I'm showing right now. Nobody on the panel. I'll get it. I don't Somebody have out it. there that's watching. Tell All me right. what's wrong with this Ooh. block right here. Yes. Yeah. I don't know. Here, let's lock you in. Let's see. I need some more light. Uh, I'm going to say it's not a Glock. It's a Glock. Oh, it is. It is. Uh, Put it back up there again. Uh, okay. oh, okay. There's something wrong with it. It's got a. It's not a Glock. Here, slide. I'm cheating. This is the yeah, no, no, no optics. You're right. I have zero sights. Thank you. No sights, yeah. Well, yeah, baby I, face P. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody said it's a Glock. That's what's wrong with it. Everybody uh, else yeah. says it's a Glock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wise guy, baby face. Yeah. Come on now. But look, seriously though, no, it's a Glock slide. It just had some some work done to it. Oh, okay. Uh, it's the factory Glock slide and, and everything. Okay, uh, so you you but, didn't get a chance to put your optics back in. I'm waiting on sites. I'm trying these new sites from Dawson Precision. 
it's about Dawson. In fact, I think that's who Noir partnered with for his sites for the advocate. You know, but uh, somebody else, the guy who actually who did the milling on this uh, Lander's weapon system, uh, swears by Dawson at, at least at the time. So I'm waiting on them to get here. They should be here in a couple of days. Okay. So the fiber optic front blacked out rear. So. Cool. All right. Cool. Let me show. Here's a pistol. This is another pistol. It's not like your pistol. And and I've and I've like pushed my thing in here. So I got I got to fix that. That's not that shouldn't be there. I pushed it in. I guess. So probably not tight enough in here. So I need to get an Allen key and tighten it up. But do you guys notice something on this? Do you guys notice you got, anything going yeah, on binary, here? Binary, binary, binary. Yeah, binary. yeah, it has binary, binary on it, and but it's it. So it's a Franklin Armory binary trigger, but right. it's a little different. Oh, flat, flat, flat thing. Yeah. So yeah. it's a straight, yeah, straight trigger, Franklin Armory. So they just, I think they just announced that today. They sent me one like sometime last week, and then they just uh, came out with. Uh, they just announced that I think today you could start pre-ordering it. You shot it yet? So yes, I did. Video to come soon. Um, you know, I wanna I wanna like take some time and test all these things. There's um there's a so here in my Daniel Defense, I have the Echo 2 from Fostech. That's what's in this one. The Echo mm -hmm. 2 from Fostech. So that's in there. I'm testing them right now, so I don't really wanna, you know, just jump out there and so let me ask you something, That's Mr. It. Strange. Go ahead. Um, um, you haven't tested it, but are you, have you sh have you shot the Daniel Defense since you got it back? Uh, yes, I did. Does it go bop bop bop? Um, yeah. You know what? I think that you can wink. It One wink for yes, and two <laughs> yes. winks for no. It does. It does. It's running a little bit better. So what Walter's talking about is before before we went away to SEMA, I actually sent the whole gun um, to Fostech because of the trigger. I think there was something up with the trigger that I got, and I wasn't sure that it was a trigger or the gun, you know, because this is like 300 blackout, integrally suppressed, and all that kind of stuff. So I sent it to them to, to let them check it out. They sent it back to me, and it does work, but not all the time. So I don't know what's the deal with that. It could be the way that I shoot, because I ride the reset. Yeah, okay, let it go, and, man. Yeah, and the thing, with the, the thing with the Echo 2 that I'm saying, and like I'm trying to tell folks out there, I'm, I, I need, honestly, more time to like shoot all these things and figure it out. But what's going on right now, I think, is that, um, you know, with, with, the, with riding the, the reset the way that I shoot, I think that's sometimes throwing it off because the Echo 2 doesn't have the bolt carrier. You know, you have to use a bolt carrier with the Echo 1 or the original one. It comes with, a, with its own specific... Yeah. Carrier. Yeah. So the two doesn't have that carrier. And the one, I think with the carrier, if you if you're shooting too fast or you're outrunning the trigger, then the carrier helps slow you down with uh, this. It's just the trigger. So I think maybe the combination of that and it's 300 blackout and it's suppressed or whatever yeah, it could, could be, be throwing camera. it off. Yeah. I need to take it out of this gun, actually, and put it in another gun and see how it is. Swap the lowers. I was pretty out. impressed yeah. with the echo trigger when I got to shoot it, though. So. So did uh, you shoot know, the two? Know, was uh, that the two or the one? Uh, I have to look. It was. I think it was the first one that came out. Yeah. Yeah, my first gen runs good. Yeah, I like the first one. This one, I haven't. You know, it's it's tough to. I, I'm not trying to beat it up because I got it and immediately put it in this 300 blackout and totally suppressed. Yeah. Yeah. So I I think that like the thing with the with the um with the Fostech triggers is that they are they're cassette style, so they're easy to drop in. I know how we gotta test it. What do you we gotta you take your lower and put it on another upper, and take my Gen One and put it on that that um yeah. on that upper, and see how see how it acts with the Gen One. Yeah, so, there it is. Yeah, yeah. So you know we have to do that. I know. See, so the thing is, like people always ask me the difference. I think that the Echo um, might be a little bit more expensive, and it's uh, a cassette style trigger, so you could just drop it in. The thing about that is it doesn't make it as flexible, so that's why I'm talking about. And then I think when you're when you're looking at the um, the BFS three from Franklin Armory, that's a regular trigger, so it comes in you know a couple of different pieces. That makes it I think a little bit more flexible. You can if you if you mess stuff up in there, you could be playing around with that thing for a while. There's some little tiny springs uh -huh. and stuff like that yes, that you could is. lose. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, there is. 
but but you know it's it's more flexible because of that so yeah you know that's the thing that everyone has to look at and like with all of these things what i say to people is like we're testing this gun so i put it in this gun to see how it is if it's not working out too well in there i'm going to take it out put it in something else yeah. and then test it and do all that kind of stuff before i just jump out there and make videos and all that kind of stuff about it so hmm. there you go oh wow any okay, other you wanna, yeah no. no let's let kevin kevin looks like he's anxious to show us some guns Oh. Uh, no, I have an accessory. So if you guys want to keep showing guns, real quick, like everybody was asking me about the PSA AR-10. Oh, there you go. I went, I went and got a mount and scope on it. I haven't shot it yet since I got it back from them. So once again, I'm kind of like Hank. I want to do it where I'm not like just blasting away. I want to actually try to get it sighted in right and see how many, uh, how close I can get those little circles together when I shoot. So yeah. Um, very nice. Okay, before, so that's before I, before, any, before I do any, you know, hate on. Yeah. It so you sent like that. that off, right? Did you have to send that gun off, or? Yeah. That, when, we were, when we were shooting that, um, the Daniel Defense, the the ejector broke on the the Daniel on the uh, the PSA gun. Mm -hmm. So I went ahead instead of me fixing it, which I could have done, I went ahead and sent it back to them just to see how it all went, and it went yeah. pretty smooth, and they fixed it. You know, so PSA had a uh, good customer service yeah, and all that. Yeah, okay. they, they they I called them up and said, yeah, sure, send it back and um, yeah. they actually sent me a call tag if I'm not mistaken. So um, that yeah. went back and they fixed it. They didn't put a note in it when they sent it back, but it's fixed. So okay, uh, you know, yeah. aside from that, so they didn't tell you what one. They didn't tell you anything. They just no, there was it. no, there was no like, hey, we did this, that, and the other, and nobody signed it. Like Keltec, they had a note inside of it with yeah. the person. Yeah, not everyone. Yeah, not everyone tells you, but it would be nice to know yeah. what happened and all that. E. Kokel says, "Geisley Super Three Gun, all you need, just as fast as the binary triggers and way more reliable." Um, you know, I pro I wouldn't argue that. I'm not, you know, I'm not knocking any other triggers, but we're in the business of testing all these things. So you know, we're really we're really trying to test it and put it through its paces and all that. So. You know, that's what I'm trying to do. When people send me stuff, I'm trying to really like test it and put it in different things and put it in weird things because I think people out there are going to get these and put them in all kinds of weird guns that they're building, right? If you're going to if you're going to go getting a trigger like this, you're going to want to, you know, it might be some gun that you're building for the fun of it or you just want all this cool stuff in your gun. Other to be honest with you, a regular standard mil spec trigger, I could rock the living crap out of that. Yes, yeah. sir. Yeah, so. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm not funny about my triggers, but I, I I am. But I hear what you're saying. But I like a certain feel to my triggers, so I'm, I'm I like what I like, and I'm stuck on CMC, whether it's the curved or the this one is a uh, a curve, but it's mm -hmm. a CMC drop in the box trigger and a, or the flats. You know, I'm I'm with that. Yeah, and, and they just really good company, right? I mean, they they they've got oh, good they're prices, great. They're yeah. good people, good prices, good people, and they just released a select fire trigger offering. Oh really? So, oh, bro, you haven't seen it? No. I mean, what do you mean? Trigger. What do you mean, select fire? Like you can go full auto? Yeah. They weren't gonna do it uh, at first. Now, are you talking about like this, like this binary uh, pull fire, release fire kind of thing? Are you talking uh, about true full that auto? Right there? Hold on, I got a light shut off. Uh, Where is it? No, you went to comments. Oh shit. See the little hole there? Mm-hmm. Oh, and the oh well that 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 was a different world there now. Yeah. yeah. Uh it yeah. better run right with the with the sear in it. Yeah. <laughs> very nice. Very nice. Yeah. So yeah. you know, I'm very well, anxious. Also, you might have to get one of those. I'm gonna get one, <laughs> so I can't wait. Mm-hmm. Uh, no, Walter, you're not getting one. What? What? Getting a, that's the that's the real deal full auto, right? Well, I got one. You know no, that. I'm saying get this new trigger. Well, what's the new trigger make any different than the old than a regular? I don't know. We can. I mean, if you got the third it. hole, you don't need any special trigger. You just... <laughs> well, it's, it's like I said. It's like I like like the flat face of triggers. So this one is a flat oh. face, full auto. Yeah, trigger. it's oh, yeah, okay. it's okay. It, yeah, or straight a straight trigger. Okay. okay. Yeah. Very. So, cool. You know, but, you know, it's just like I said. It's just something else that they're bringing to market. You yeah, know, something different. Trigger. Oh, okay, okay. For the sixteen. So, so, it looks sexy too. Okay, Kevin, yeah. you want to show us your thing? Not, yeah, oh. yeah, I don't have it on a gun, but so talked about them last week. I'm gonna talk about them again. So last week I showed you guys the HD7 from Lucid. Mm -hmm. All right, but now 
And I know we've seen these before, but a lot of people think only make one or two companies make them. But the one by six by 24 option. So the variable option. Six by and what does the reticle look like on that? 20, uh, this I think one. You just had, did you just have the reticle on that paper? It's a one to six by 24, right? Yeah, one yeah. to six by 24. Okay. So it's got bullet drop compensation. Okay. Yep. Nice little BDC built in there. Cool. Um, the cool thing about this one is the light in it. I don't think I have a Tango battery. Hunter says, yeah, Kevin, show us your thing. Right, because you did ask that shit real, like, you know, <laughs> real back room shit. Like, Kevin, <laughs> hey, man, show us your thing. Yep, I mean, well, I'm showing it. So mm -hmm. get used to it. You're used to seeing it. So I don't, I don't, this one is not the one that I have ready for the rifle. This is going to be the one I, I walk around with to, to show people. But um, the different thing with this one that I found interesting is that the reticle lights up blue. Okay. Okay. So blue is supposed to be able to be picked up by us, by our vision. I'm not a scientist by any stretch of the imagination, but even though there are a lot of blues in the environment, we're supposed to be able to see this blue a, a lot better. So I thought that was different. Uh, and I like the one by six. Um, there's nothing wrong with a red dot. I'm never going to argue a red dot. They're tried and true and the technology works, but I do like the variable uh, options. I think that is the new, well, not new, a couple of years old now, but I think that's the hotness. You know, to be able to go from a, um, essentially a red dot out to a, you know, a scope is nice. So I would definitely say so. Give them a try. It's, it's lucid. This is a uh, retail and a few bucks lower than some of the other offerings. But giving you the same quality, so yeah. I like it. Some, some new, and some different, and it's sleek. It's a, it's a sexy looking little thing. Let me get it closer here. No, it looks good, and they cover it. Razor, Razor JB says, stay with Trijicon and Steiner. You know, not everyone like if you if you if you got a bunch of guns, if you don't got the 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 financing for it. I mean, you know. yeah, you know. And that's I the cool like thing that. about you guys. It's it's uh the, the slogan. I mean, look at their slogan there. On target, under budget. Yeah. Now, just being cheap is not good enough. It's got to be something that's reliable, of course. Yeah, you know, on target, yeah, so it works. Get it's some quality, reliable stuff. Uh, on budget. Now, I, you know, I and I could go upstairs. But lucid, get... lucid is tough, man. I, I have a lucid, you know, and yeah, then they, they stand they behind it. They stand a hundred percent behind what they make. Yep. What's on that one behind you? Which one? Behind who? You. Okay. You. What's on that? What's on your, your Daniel Daniel defense? defense? Oh, my Daniel defense. This is the ACSS reticle from primary arms. So that's the 300, this is a specific 300 blackout ACSS, uh, also one to six, you know, and this one has, um, you know the what the ACSS reticle is, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's self-ranging and all that kind of stuff. These are, these are like really awesome to me, man. Um, and just in case, since you brought it up, Argo, in the description of this video, there's links <laughs> where if people go through those links and buy, uh, we've got a bunch of primary arms optics in there. If you buy the the optics through that link, you get free shipping oh. plus you get the the um, the mount or the scope rings for free, for free. So I'm just you know I'm just saying, this is the 300 blackout one. It's actually pretty good. Awesome, I like that. The gun itself works great. You know, like I said, we're testing the trigger and stuff like that. And oh, also, by the way, I got this uh, heat shield wrap right here from KE Arms. Check that out. You guys like that? You know what? Actually, okay. so because this gets warmed up. If you look at if you look at this, is that can, like a is that like a is that like a pattern on it? What's that pattern? On yeah, it? this is the uh, Cryptek. Cryptek. That's pretty. That's pretty as a moon. Yeah, it's really nice, but it's a heat shield. And if you look at the gun real close, you can see that the that the can is really, really close to that handguard because it's like a low profile handguard. So this does warm up. So Ke Arms makes this wrap that you just throw it on like that. But you know, you got something to hold on. With, it's a wrap. So. Yeah. So they got it in a few was, different colors. So my gun was rusting. Yeah, you it was people. rusted. That's all right. Just shoot it out. And it'll... Which gun well, was rusting? The, the IO? The, the IO gun, man. I didn't clean it after the last time. <laughs> well, I was shooting some nasty military ammo through it, so that's why. Oh, okay. Yo, I was say, you didn't have to like clean it every single time. Well, I wasn't going to just to see how long it will go without, yeah. without no cleaning. You know, so. Yeah. An AK. Yeah, we have a we have an IO that we've got a video coming up on that by the way. Oh, okay. um, if so, if anyone um, is a Patreon supporter of ours, then they've already uh, already got first dibs on it. Yeah, they've already seen the video. It's up there. We'd be turning oh. that on soon. The Jew says, "When I wipe my ass, it looks like rust." 
you need to go see a doctor. <laughs> you, you better go talk to the man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Because nobody wiped my my inner ordinance with your booty. So um. yeah, um, Tango Hunter says I thought only KD made his burls wear rubbers. <laughs> <laughs> Juice says he had Mexican. That's why. Oh, <laughs> he had taco smell. That's what it was. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, you guys are getting you know. What's Argo J is looking at something intently on his screen. I don't know what. Oh no, I was just looking at crazy shit, man. Burl but I put up a, I put up a, a, pro, a product code for people in the chat. Oh, you did. Cool. Yeah. Is this in our chat here? Yeah, I'll put it up again just now. I didn't see it in our group chat. It was in the one where the. Oh, like so everyone could see it. Okay, product code yeah. for what? Uh, ten percent off at HTC Gear. I oh, forgot nice, to mention this. Nice. Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so you to send that send that code to us so we could put it in the description. It's in there. Oh, you mean the description. Description. Oh, is it in our chat? Because I don't see it. It's not in our private chat, no. No. Okay, okay. I'll, I'll uh Yeah. Well, you gotta send it to me or send it to Lola. Oh, ho oh hold on. I see it in the chat here. Let me see if I can copy it from here. It's in the chat. Okay, it's Argo. J10. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Let me see. I'll put it in in uh, the description of the video right now, for anyone. So, to folks know out there that Argo spells his name with like three. How many is it? Three A's. Three. Yeah. Um, and then that that um, that code is for HTC gear. Yeah. High threat concealment. Okay. And I'm really liking their relations to the customer. Uh, not just because we do gear testing and reviewing, but even before even before it got to this, their response times were just ridiculous. I was just calling, inquiring, and they called me back the same day. That that type of stuff. Okay. You know, not to mention the quality of the work, which I don't have anything near, but I mean, super, super nice, super nice. Okay, cool. All right, so that's in the that's in the. Um that's there in the that's in the description for anyone who's interested in that. So, yep, save some money on a badass holster. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. So, and then remember, um, so the juice wants to know if we have any Black Friday deals on Wednesday. This Wednesday coming up, Kevin, are you going to make Wednesday show? Uh, yeah, I'll be on. Okay, so Kevin I'm will be here. Smoking turkeys uh, and talking on here. Yeah. Okay. Smoking turkey. I hope you're sending us all turkey in the mail. Oh, turkey. I'll send you. <laughs> Might not want to eat it. Oh. Uh, yeah. I don't, the way you say it, no. Forget it. I don't. Don't send it. <laughs> no. I, I. I will. I will send you. Hey, you know what? I will. When I come to Florida, I will make you a turkey if you shoot and admit you love an HK. Oh shit. Oh well. I guess I'll just be starving. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> That's, <okay. laughs> That's all right. I need to lose some weight anyway. <laughs> Gorillas and Guns says, Argo J, you just got a new sub. Appreciate that, oh, Mr. Cool. Gorillas and Guns. Are you going to say yeah. hi? Oh, 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 the oh, cuteness oh. is in the building. You going to say hi? Say hi. hi. Say, be loud, big girl. Hey. What's up? How's it going, princess? Good. You got that. What's that uh, monster on your shirt? What do you got on today? Poppy. Poppy? <laughs> where's, where's that from? Girls. Trolls. Oh, from Trolls. Yeah, I remember that now. Yes, Trolls. Okay. Very cool. Very I think, cool. I think you only have one. Yeah. You, and me. you got two ones? Yeah. Okay. Okay. You going to say bye to the people? Bye. Say, say night. Night, night. Good night. <laughs> Good night. Don't talk yeah. like you're dead. Yeah. What? Don't say bar say <laughs> Burl. <laughs> say Burl. <laughs> 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 <Here's a two. laughs> All right, Donald wants to say night. Oh, uh, okay. Good night, guys. Good night. Good night, night man. All right, see so you guys in a minute. What time is it over there? Is it bedtime? It's eight o'clock, man. Won't play no games. You go to sleep. Oh, oh boy, oh, wow, you wow. are no joke. No, man. <laughs> eight o'clock. Eight o'clock. <laughs> Look, man, we this this house is up at about four a.m. So. Oh, Dude. Oh, wow! Yeah, yeah. You're on some tyranny. 
Ow. 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 <laughs> you know what's crazy? I My, uh, I appreciate that. No, so that's I'm good stuff. That. No, I'm reading the comments, too. But, oh. No, I appreciate that, too. Yeah, we do 830. But, uh, no, I hear you. Got to go to bed. You got to go to bed. Hey, no, see, yeah. the educator would appreciate that I make my children rest well for they can, no. they can be uh, behaving in school. And if they don't, then I can hold them accountable. Yeah. <laughs> no, that is good. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you. Um, oh, here, the school school's out. School's that's, out right now for um, yeah, for well, Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving yeah. yeah. So my, my son that's still here, you know, the older one's off in college, but the younger mm -hmm. one that's in high school. You know what time he woke up today? What's what, one? One thirty? Nope. Nope. Not high. Nope. <laughs> he woke Six. up at five thirty. AM? Yeah. PM. Oh, PM. PM. Oh, PM. PM. Oh, what time did he how when did he go hit the rack? I have you know? no idea. <laughs> He's probably up playing video games. He probably right? went to sleep when we woke up this morning. Yeah, probably. Yeah, he was up playing video games and stuff, but he had to feed the dog and I was like, Do you not hear this dog out here crying? <laughs> whimpering begging for some food <laughs> you know and he was mad he was mad at me because i woke him up i was like man i'm so you see i would i would go all kevin dixie on him but i was like that's okay because in the next couple of months your butt has to get out of my house <laughs> so enjoy it you know he'll know what it's like he'll he'll join the world of his brother he's kind of he's kind of mad because you know both of my sons used to have to do all the chores but no. then his brother went off to college and everything, so now he has all the chores. Where's he at school, or is that a private conversation? Uh, he goes to FSU. Oh, that's what's up. Yeah, so, you know, um, I'm trying to – I wish they both would go to the same school, man, but that's Where's not going to happen. Uh, I have no – where does he want to go, Lola? I don't think uh, I don't think he knows what he wants to do right no. now. Yeah. He, Lola is making him apply to a bunch of different places. UCF? Um, I think, so did he do, did he go, going. yeah, well, he did UF, he applied to uh, UF and a couple, UNF, University yeah, North Florida yeah. and Nova Southeastern. Yeah, it's a bunch of Florida schools Lola has them applying to, so. Yeah, I can't afford out of state. Yeah, yeah, Lola says she's not, she's not doing the out of state thing. Yeah. But, you know, she has them applying to schools. All I know is, you know, like my kids, they have a choice, you know, you could take a break, um, and leave my house. And go get a job and get an apartment. Do what you want to do. Or you could go to school. They could also stay in my house. But if they stay in my house, they're paying bills. Oh, they're working. For sure. Yeah. Yeah. They will be working. So this conversation comes up inevitably every year. <laughs> hey, I can't keep looking at, the, at your face and not speak. Those are some slick ass glasses, dude. Oh, really? Are you? You liking the glasses? <laughs> no, I am a lot, dude. Oh, I'm just getting old. <laughs> I'm a glasses dude, dude. So you oh. know, I, you know, but I wear contacts most times. But oh, okay. You know, I like I like those, man. Oh, thanks, man. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. What are those, man? Are those like bald? Um, uh, I don't know. They're big. Whatever they are. What are these glasses? Oh, they're Hagger. I'm surprised you can see that with the glasses oh, off. That's, that's impressive. <laughs> oh, my vision is not that bad. <laughs> So there you go for anyone who wants to see the glasses. No, those are some nice. It's got like that wood pattern or whatever. In That's it. what caught me. That's what caught yeah. me. Yeah, yeah. So my vision is not that bad. Let me see if I could like show you. As he squints through everything else, look. there's not look. It looks dirty. There's not that much of a are prescription. They dirty? Yeah, it's dirty. It's dirty right now. Yeah. Oh, don't wipe them with your shirt, man. You you, you, you get rest of the Glass of works. Man. We're on the air. <laughs> Leave me alone. Man. We're on the air. So okay. why is everybody hating on HK though, man? Do oh man, oh Argo, brother, welcome. Because these guys go in. No, 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 no. I mean, they back oh, up here. Doesn't. Walter doesn't. I, I like HK's products. I just like Hank says they have a they have an attitude about the civilian market. So yeah, that's what I. Well, I knew that. And what if they were trying to change that though? Well. Uh, nothing going to change. Supposedly, they were trying to change that. I don't care how many uh, custom guns they build for whoever. No, that, no, that, <laughs> yeah. that, 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 honestly, that has nothing to do with it. You know what I mean? Like, because those are two different entities that are doing those things, separate mm -hmm. of HK. But, you know, I mean, what if HK is genuinely saying, oops, we fucked up, guys, we see. What if they're saying that? Yeah, uh, Robert Lafrier just gave us two bucks to say HK is an overpriced Walter. 
It is way better than Walters. Now, Walters are good. <laughs> don't get me wrong. Fuck Tango that. Hunter <laughs> says heckling at <laughs> Oh. <laughs> hey, hey, hold on. He paid you two bucks for real? Yeah. Heckling. Yes. <laughs> yes, he did. <laughs> Thank you, Robert Lafrug. What I, I don't know if I, I'm even saying his name I, I properly. I particularly like HK's it. military stuff. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Me. Uh, Brian Quick wants you to explain why you like HK so much. I mean, and before you do that, I'll give you a chance to think about your answer. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm right there. Uh, I'm right there with Wal with uh, Walter. And the thing is with HK, I've spent a lot of time trying in, in the past when I started doing this to talk to them. They don't really care about a civilian uh, market or anything like that. You know, right. huh? Well, yeah, if you're Colin Noir, everyone cares about Colin yeah, Noir. Yeah. If Colin Noir likes your guns, you sell a lot of guns. <laughs> All right, here, here's this. And then I'll tell you so, why. And here's the funny thing. I'm not Team HK. I was legitimately asking why is everybody hating on HK. Um, I own an HK VP9 and I have an HK SK. Uh, these, these are my first HK guns. Okay. I've shot AKs before. I was surgical with them. They're great guns to shoot. I just thought they were pricey. As hell. Oh, <laughs> just threw something at Walter. Grenade. <laughs> yeah, I know. Peggy just tossed up. Special delivery. Special delivery. <laughs> so, you know. That was funny. I, I, I never I saw owned that. that case. So I oh, thought that was a Milk chocolate. Oh, I thought that was a condom oh. for a second. Like, uh oh. I don't however, need that. I, I took that, care of that. Is that a chocolate flavor condom right there? Oh Lord, man! No. Let me wait. But, let me take that back before I get in trouble here. <laughs> I told him. Oh, <laughs> why did you tell him? No, her, but man? the real deal is though, they're 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 good guns, and and the VP9 is not overpriced. Um, you know I hated I mean? the VP9. VP9 son. I I <laughs> didn't hate the VP9. I fell in love with the VP9 the first time I shot it. Forget all the hype. Forget everything else. I shot this ignorant of everything else. And I went in there and I shot this gun and I said, damn. Okay. This gun shoots. And that's with that nasty ass trigger. That's with, you know, uh, me not having modified the palm swells or the grip much to fit my hand. You know, so I just went in there. Mm hmm Yeah, listen, I mean, I'm not I'm not knocking that. I'm not saying that that they're horrible guns or anything like that. I just think like if you don't like me, I'm not going to spend a lot of time trying to give you my money. Now, I'm not saying that everyone that makes guns necessarily likes me either. You know, I will say but, this, and I know uh, we, we've all talked about this. I am a, a big now, and I'm not giving them an excuse. I'm not. What people do, people, companies, people, whatever, screw up sometimes. It happens. They do, right? Oh, yeah. My, oh, thing, yeah. my thing is this. I will say this. To HK, and believe you me, and I love the guns and will still have the guns. Don't get me wrong. But if I talk to HK and they treated me like crap, there's no way I would. Even if I carried the gun, I wouldn't be talking about it. I wouldn't be rocking the paraphernalia. Uh, so I agree. I think everybody's well aware of their previous attitude toward the civilian market. That's that's, that's not a secret. Uh, however, uh, when I decided to do endeavors and really run an HK for years and then decided to talk to them, I can say, and I don't think I'm special. I can just say they were open for conversation. Yeah. And I was just a guy. Like, then they walked up to me. That was the cool thing. Yeah. I, I was just over there doing a review of the gun, and they walked up to me. So, yeah, no, I think that's I evident. Hope. You put out some videos. Well, tell, and look, I HK is iconic, right? Which <laughs> I said, What's that? What's that? tell what's her name to answer her damn phone then. But no, I'm just... oh, <laughs> you know what, man? And, I, and <laughs> the funny part is, and I, I thought about you today when I when uh, I had to shoot her email like a week after you asked me. I shot her email and uh, to to work on some other stuff. But um, I will definitely mention that again, sir. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, you know, the thing is, is that I don't think any of us can deny that HK are like iconic guns, right? I mean, you know, we all like, I think, Walter, what's that? What is it? You have the Zenith clone, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. I bought the yeah. Zenith clone. We're making a stock for it. MP5 is one of the most, well, most recognized guns right. all, all over the world. Yeah, yeah. I know dudes. I know dudes that have HK tattooed on their asses. Okay, <laughs> not me. Yeah. For the record. Uh, well, not not literally their asses, but I, mean, like, you, I, I have a friend that has HK tattooed on his calf, a Marine friend of mine. You know, I don't know if he's such an HK fan nowadays. I know when he was in the Marines, he was. <laughs> oh, well. Yeah. Oh, you know, before, we, before we hop too far off the HK thing, we have to bring Argo in on the, um, this conversation. Ooh. Remember that conversation? Uh-uh, yeah. what? 
I see some people were um, were yeah. yeah. Look at go ahead, throw it up again. Throw up the um, the hilt right there. There you go. So uh, Argo, we were having a conversation a little while ago about your gun actually running your gun instead of like having it seracoded or something to look like you've been running it. Right, right, right. <laughs> actually showing evidence that you. I mean, that's the mag wheel of this damn thing. It gets ran. It's beat the you know? shit. Um, yeah, so, and I mean, the finish is coming off the gun. So, it was for the guy to ask the Here's question, why do you well. like That's one of the reasons? Uh, how's your mag? Well, brand new and fresh. Yeah, um, <laughs> Kevin, Kevin's <laughs> mag well looks like a, a busted get, tire on the highway. <laughs> is that like it, right. is that that's through the that's through the base <laughs> of it into the grip? Uh, yeah. where I see the air. Oh, that's, a, that's is that an attachment on the bottom? That I'm well, yeah, so I got a mag well, uh, attachment. Oh, okay, a no. flare type. Thing. Oh. I was okay. wondering. I thought that's that was worn was... through. No, yeah, so I'm, that's why I kept showing the inside of it. It's... Yeah, it looks like because you can see daylight. So I thought yeah. the same thing Walter thought. Yeah. Oh, okay, no, I no, said, damn man, it had a lot of, lot of, lot of oh, in and out in on the, that thing. Yeah, that's 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 in the design, the holes. Yeah, down there, but it's just worn out, like uh, it's just right a, now. It's, it's a beat up gun. And so we were having a, so for for the guy to ask the question, why do you like them? I will say this: I like HK for the same reason that I uh, shoot Glocks or any reliable gun that i'm going to take training or depend my life on because they can they can be beat up and i mean not i'm not a guy look i'll tell you right now do not watch one of my videos if you think i'm going to take any gun that costs hundreds of dollars and intentionally fling it across somewhere that ain't gonna happen but it should be able to be dropped treated rough ran hard and right. still perform yeah and that is going to come with some beauty marks, it's just going to happen, yeah. right? It's a it's Elton a Elton proxy. McCollum says personally, I prefer my bullets to go in the mag forwards. <laughs> He's messing with you. <laughs> they don't go back. Yeah. Um, how do you say? Do you, how do you say bullets? Bullets. bullets. There bullets. You go. Okay. There you go. Okay. That's close to English. No, That's close to. Hard, that That's close to. <laughs> no, I'm just messing with you. Okay. okay. Um, so Argo, um, Rod Mills wants you to tell the story, your AR story. I know that's gonna kind of long, and we're already like we've already done two hours, but uh, I don't want Rod to think that we're not paying any attention to him. That's like a famous video that Ar that Argo has. Oh, it's a thorn in my fucking side too, man. <laughs> it's like everybody it's like, wants to talk about that video. It, that and 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 half the people don't believe it. Uh, you know, I get called every liar, this, that, and the other. Like, who gives a shit? Like. I mean, I, I don't care anymore, you know what I mean? But it's like, who cares what they think? You know, but I don't want them taken away from the information that I bring that somebody new or somebody who may be in a similar situation can gain from it. You know, just like I said on uh, Cam, on Cam Edwards' show, I said, look, just because it happens to me doesn't mean that it won't happen to somebody else. This very same thing could happen to somebody else. So here it is. Uh, long story short, I uh, was home one night. Uh, one morning, actually, uh, hung over as hell, <laughs> like I usually am. Uh, <laughs> so it was normal. And, and, right, right, right. Mm -hmm. And uh, woke up to somebody banging on my door, and everybody, you know, it was just loud banging. Bang, 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 bang. So it was, I lived in a duplex. Uh, so I went to the door, and I looked out, you know, one of my little windows where I could see out, people couldn't see in. Saw a bunch of guys on the side of the house. So I said, oh, shit. Went and got my pistol. And they started to retreat through my backyard to the alley, going up to the street. And then at that time, I went to the front window, and there were other people coming in. And the guys from the back were now coming around with that main group. So I got literally about 13 dudes were coming to my door. But they weren't looking for me. They were looking for my upstairs neighbor. But I'm not, playing any, I'm not taking any chances with these motherfuckers, period. So I grabbed my AR, and I'm like, look. You motherfuckers are banging on his door, but his door is also my door because it's a duplex. And you don't know where he lives. So what do you, and this is my, this is what I'm thinking. I didn't say that to them. You know, so what are they going to do? Just run through every room until they find who they're looking for? No. Why were they looking for him? Because he slept with one of the, the, the main dude's girl. He fucked his girl. And they literally live like three houses down from where we live. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. the, like it was, it was just ridiculous. So, I mean, he fucked his girl, you know, after have, having fucked somebody else in the house. So I guess that made the tensions high. <laughs> you know what I mean? And the guy <laughs> just got out of jail and they oh, came yeah. looking for him. You know what I mean? He came looking for him. And I'm sitting out there trying to talk to these dudes and I got my AR hidden behind my back. 
Where'd I get them blue eyes? Anyway. Oh, I think uh, your screen is reflecting in your eyes. So. Oh, oh, my contacts. Yeah. But no, but you know, I'm just trying to deflect the situation and, and de-escalate because, hey, my kids are in here. You know what I'm saying? At the time, like, you know, like, you're not coming in this house. And everybody's like, why didn't you call the police? They're actively kicking in my door. You want me to just hunker down, call the police, and hope that they don't get in? Like, that's not going to happen. You know, so I approached them. They saw the rifle. Mm-hmm. And that was it. Yeah. End of story. Yeah, so they got lucky that day. They didn't get wet up. <laughs> Hell, I got lucky. Yeah. No, it's a good thing. Yeah, it's a good thing for you. You did what, you know. Because knowing gun laws, you know, because I took the fight to them, technically, on a technicality, you know, the people present a good point. Legally, I was in the wrong. Oh, so you is that I mean? how it is where you are? Because in Florida, <laughs> no, that's not the way it they're works. dead to nuts when they start banging on your door. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, I mean, I'm sure a lot of judges would have found, you know, found me right. The police said I was right after that. And yes, I did call the police. I didn't put it in the video, but I called the police afterwards because, hell, I was busy. I'm not going to stop to call the police. Yeah. You know what I mean? I call the police after. After it looks like things yeah, are safe. You hey, don't, you don't dial 911. You dial AR-15. <laughs> That's what I dial. That's what the hell I dial. Yeah. So. Okay. Yeah. There you go. If anyone Literally wants to course. see that, that is a video on Argo's channel. Okay. It's Argo with three A's like 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 the pirates. Arr. So there you go. Arr. Argo. It's Argo. Well, the Ar- a pirate. Darby Argo. <laughs> Arr. So there you go. Um, Let me see. What is this? Uh, Yeah. Okay. So you know what? Okay. We've been doing this for a little bit here. I think we should probably start wrapping it up. We did. We did two hours. It went by fast, right, Walter? Yeah. 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 Yeah, Did you did did you need to um, talk about anything? People are asking about Black Friday. Yeah, we're doing twenty percent off all of our stocks we make, like for the AR fifteen, the compact entry stock for the Sig, MPX, MCX, Sig Rattler. Um, what's not included is a new CZ stock. We've already got that down below the normal. We got that at dealer price right now to everybody. So um, the the stocks we make for the 50 cals, they're going to be all available at 20% off this stock here, the one with the monopod. Um, They also work good on ARs and and 308s if you got like a bench gun. Um, So that stuff's on 20% off. So. Yeah. yeah. So there you go. Walter is going to be here uh, on Wednesday talking about that stuff. Um, I think you're also going to be here tomorrow, right, Walter? Yeah, I can be. Yes, sir. Yeah, because tomorrow we have Dimitri from Primary Arms. Oh, okay. Boom. You know, I was talking about the optics back there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so yeah. Dimitri's going to hey, be coming in. What's up? Look at this. You see that that uh, Chris B says not that way in Ohio either. I think he was we're talking to about the uh, the duty oh. to retreat and all that craziness. Yeah, you know, right, he was right. talking about. Yeah. What's funny is. My AR story sp- uh, 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 caused an uh, Ohio representative to call me and testify and tell my story uh, at the floor as they're trying to pass you know, new gun law in Ohio. Okay. Oh. So that like, law is still in so, effect. You still have a duty to retreat in Ohio at this point? No, it, it is not. I don't think. I think it changed. Oh, it changed. Can, okay. I think it did change. But what, what's funny is I, I'm actually tied to that change. Uh, yeah. You know. And I'm tied to it for more than one reason because my parent, my my dad's from Ohio. You know what I mean. So I'm, we're always in Ohio, even though we don't have reciprocity with them with CCW. But we got to keep pushing this uh, national reciprocity. Okay. But no, man, like uh, I was floored. I'm going back to the, it was so many years ago. Um, Crispy wants you to post a link. I don't. It's only only thing that I have on it is. When I initially yeah. did it, and for I'm anyone who's like now. TJ Blaze is asking about the blue eyes, that's because Argo has some kind of contacts in there. Does you do your contacts change your eye color? No, I'm actually not even wearing my contacts right now. No, they're just brown. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> brown eyes. Thank you. That wasn't scary. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't creepy at all. Um, Nico Garcia <laughs> wants to know. Nico Garcia, well, here, go ahead. I'll lock it in if you want to do it one more. One more no, I'm good. I'm good. Yeah. Uh, Nico Garcia wants to know, Hank, should I build a 9 millimeter AR-15 or just buy the Rony for a Glock 19? I say build it. The, uh, build it. Build it. You will, yeah, build it. You'll be more happy with a, with a real... Nine millimeter yeah. carbine than that Roni thing. So. Yeah, absolutely. I think so. I'm not. not I'm not trying to knock the Roni, but um, I think you, you'll get more. Uh, as Walter said, 
And uh, I'm working on one. Walter's actually Walter and I are working on one. We're gonna work on it. Yes, we are. Yeah. And so we're working. On, we're gonna do something like that. Maybe we'll pick up some stuff here at uh, on uh, with the Black Friday sales. I think I'm gonna put a P. I'm gonna put a fun switch on my PSA too. Yeah. So. Um, so what I'm gonna do well, on the Black Friday thing? I'm gonna start recording all the places I see Black Friday specials coming up. Because I've seen yeah. some pretty good deals out there, so yeah. So we'll that's coming. Yeah, we're going to talk about that on Wednesday. And yeah. we, by the way, like every, I, I really encourage you guys to tune in. We're going to have special deals from Brownells. We're going to have a bunch of other special deals, but Brownells is giving us like our own special mm. deals. So you guys are going to want to yes. watch this. And uh, we actually got some cool things for you guys going. So. You know, I'm not trying to encourage anyone to spend their money, but we're trying to like help people well, out. You know, if you're going to spend it, you might as well save some di direct it, huh? direct save, with it. Yeah. Save, trying to save some you. some money. More bang for your buck. You know? Yeah, absolutely. And then tomorrow, like I said, we have Dimitri from Primary Arms. He's going to be on tomorrow. We're going to be talking optics and all that kind of stuff. So you guys can tune in with all your questions that you have for that. Dimitri is uh, well versed in that arena. He is the guy that designs the reticles of Primary Arms, so he'll be on tomorrow um kevin what do you want to uh, tell us about all right well hey before I, I go too far i want to say uh everybody welcome argo back it's good to see my man back into the world of things making his presence again wrong sports team but it's still good to see him back <laughs> so welcome back argo nice to see you back out in the trenches yeah i'll move on with the question <laughs> all right so <laughs> um so for me, uh, we, we have um, uh, coming up a few good things. But first, I want to thank certain people I wanted, uh, for helping me uh, bring the mission into the year 2018. I want to thank uh, Breakthrough Clean for their efforts. I definitely want to thank Lucid, uh, Proper, HK, um, even, even um, Comtech for the things they've done. It's been a great year. Um, Vinci Frenzy, those guys. I mean, the list goes on and on. I appreciate all you guys for the support uh, and the continued effort. Coming up this year, uh, at, I think I'm going to release it on Thanksgiving or the Friday after Thanksgiving. You will see my very um, kind of impromptu attempt at comedy. So it'll be coming out. So that'll be uh, be pretty fun. Um, look out uh, mid-December for our feature section on the New Orsha. Uh It should be out mid-December. So very we're looking nice, out for that. Very nice. Yes. Uh, yeah. Talk to them. Talk to the producers today. So that's exciting. Um, and other than that, it, like I said, I'm going to kind of then wind down, um, use the Christmas break to kind of take a deep breath, you know, get ready for the following year. You get up for a shot show. Yeah, take a deep breath, right? Let it all Relax out. yourself, yeah. Uh, yeah, re-engineer some stuff, make the website more user-friendly, get the social medias all caught up. I am uh, going to be recruiting uh, a person for social media help. Uh, just to kind of help manage that stuff where I can focus on going out, putting videos and content out next year uh, and be looking for the no other choice. Aiming for the truth event. We are looking to take that on the road to at least three different cities next year. So I'll be putting that information out as well. Very oh, cool. so NOC, uh, as far as Facebook goes, NOC firearms training on Facebook. Uh, you can just look me up personally, Kevin Dixie on Facebook, Instagram at NOC firearms training. If you find it in your heart to help out with the missions we do or helping people get involved in a two way and uh, helping them get jobs and uh, dealing with mental health and all those great things, uh, feel free to go over to Patreon backslash NOC firearms uh, and that'll help out with the mission. And we appreciate you guys for all you do. Oh, and let me not forget for all my uh, people in the Colorado <laughs> Springs, Colorado area on December 2nd, I will be going to Springs Armory. Uh, in Colorado Springs, and I will be doing a nice meet and greet and hanging out there from oh, cool. uh, 10 to 2. So swing by Springs Armory, come in, meet me, talk crap. Uh, I might be bringing a couple of small prizes with me so you guys swing in. And that's Springs Armory in Colorado Springs, and I uh, look forward to seeing you guys on December 2nd. All right, cool. What was that, Walter? Spread the red. I was going to say spread the red. Spread, spread the red. The red. Spread the red. <laughs> um, is, 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 can we consider Kevin like a real HK fan if he doesn't have any tattoos? No, oh, don't don't go there. Don't. Yeah, you're not a real. He's HK got a fan. tattoo, it's just not on his ass. <laughs> I don't want to know about that. Peer pressure does not work on me, Hank. <laughs> All right, Argo, what you got to say, man? Uh, still same old, same old. You can catch me anywhere, everywhere that you always caught me. YouTube. I've actually just put out a a, a video that we just did at the NRA Carry Guard. I got some more video from that coming up. Uh, putting it out slowly, though, just because it's not so much on the carry guard, but more on the people uh, and why people carry and just just to hear different people's aspects on carrying. Just a little filler information until the new show comes up. 
which is segueing into the new show. New show is the A game. It's going to be pretty badass. That's all I got to say about that. Uh, it's going to feature a lot of gun and gear reviews still. Um, there's going to be some self defense things in there. There's going to be, there's just going to be a whole lot of Is this going to be on so, your channel uh, or somewhere else? Yeah, it's going to be on my YouTube okay, channel. Okay, cool. I'm going to stick to YouTube. Um, and then always there is the ever in, the never ending plight to fund and film uh, Black Ops, the documentary. Uh, the documentary is featuring uh, myself, uh, Coley on Noir, Mosh I think Kevin's going to be in it. Hank, you and Lola agreed to be in it at, uh, at some point. Uh, and we're just trying to highlight and focus. And there's so many more. Uh, Tyson Beckford. Uh, can, uh, we uh, Carl, can we get Walter in there? Can we get Carl Malone? Yeah, we can get Walter in there. We can come shoot, we can come shoot the hell out of Walter, you're going to have all the know. brothers come and shoot your damn guns. How about that? So, <laughs> Walter but, uh, showing his pastiness. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't mean nothing. But no. Uh, so you got, listen, Walter, you, you, but, uh, you're on this show with, with three black dudes. I think you got that ghetto pass right now. Yeah. I'm yeah. still learning, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, we can, no. I'm still learning. So, <laughs> go ahead, go ahead, uh, Argo. No, it's all good, man. Uh, yeah, the, um, I think I put in the tagline where you can help out if you want to go help fund the uh, uh, the go. I mean, the GoFundMe for the documentary because, like I said, it's we're trying to put this out by us for us by us. You know, we don't want anybody else's opinion. We want this to be a true depiction of what black armed America looks like. And there are, very, there are a lot of different facets of it, but we're not all the criminals and the thugs that they have us put out to be. Uh, and part of this was because of that damn video again. Uh, because of that video, people were like, well, you must be a drug dealer or you got, you know, you're selling guns or you're selling dope or, you know, whatever. That's not the case, okay? Uh, so that's why the video was born. I mean, the documentary was born. Okay, very cool. Yeah. So yeah, I look forward to that. All right. You know what? I'm going to wrap it up on my end here, unless you guys have uh, something else to add. Walter, you got anything else? Yeah, to I'm add? good. Facebook, Instagram, just keep an eye out. You know, like I said, we're uh, making stuff and working yeah. on new stuff too. So we're going to do some videos. Maybe I'll come see you in this Thanksgiving weekend. Maybe you're going to be around. Okay. Uh, yes, I should be. Uh, we'll talk. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, I'll be here. All right. Oh. So yeah, go ahead. All right. What's up? Uh, not for nothing. Anybody in the Atlanta area, uh, the weekend of the second and third, hit me up. It's my, Atlanta's my second home. There's oh, are you going, going to the? Um, are you going to Maja's thing? I am. Okay, I, I should be there. I hear tell. So yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know tell. if Maj put that out there yet or not. I don't know if I'm supposed to talk about. It. No, that's why I'm not, I didn't. I didn't say anything. Yeah. So, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. So. so there you go. Yeah. So okay. Um, you know what? Don't forget, we have the Stag 308, the um, the Stag 10. I'm giving that away at some point. I just need to um, put everything together for everyone out there that wants to know about that. The thing is, is that I spent the weekend putting in lots of requests to have things re-monetized that were demonetized, but I am going to come out with that. Lola and I just have to look over that, but we need to close out. We need to give away that gun because me and Walter, we're going to be giving away something soon, so we got to close that out and start up right Walter we're going to be giving away 50 at some point if you're lucky if you're lucky you might yeah, win well, the 50. yeah we, we, we are we are we're, we're past yeah. doing that thing so we're going to do it yeah yeah are we need to do that is panel members excluded from winning uh hells yeah, yeah. <laughs> hells yeah <laughs> no you guys get enter. go ahead you could yeah, yeah sure yeah as long as you put in the work you can be in there it's going to be some work though so that's the thing, you know, like with these guns we're giving away, people have to work for them. Like this 308, whoever wins this 308, I guarantee you they put in work. They're not getting it just because they're like subscribed or something like that, which is cool. I appreciate everyone that subscribed. We always give things away to the people that subscribe to us, especially every day we're giving away videos. But um, when it comes to this, like the 308 that we're giving away is over $2,000, way over that. So, yeah. you know, some work involved and whoever gets it. Yeah, but I think you just hit it on the head, like you said, the free. Oh, I think Lola just said it too, like the free videos. You know what I mean? Yeah, but you know, we're 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 down to to give away stuff. It's just something like this, you know. Um, it's Stag Arms involved and Brownells and and some other companies, WMD guns, UM So you know, we want we want to make sure that people work for it. You gotta see some so, love. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. What is what? What are you up to back there? Well, you know, I, I'm hearing the shotgun going. Click oh, click, 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 and oh, you can, only one oh, shot. Boy. 
Click, clack, click, clack. There you go, Walter. There we go. Walter has to get his shotgun out. <laughs> what is that? A Rev Let me see. What is it? Oh, this is Remington? a. Uh, this is a Savage. Oh, Savage. Okay. Stevens Arms. It's 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 a, it's made in China. Oh, okay. It was cheap one day, and I bought a couple of them. So. Yeah. Yeah. I but like this little joker though. Yeah. Little goose neck. That's yeah. a shockwave. Yep. Yep. Shockwave is cool. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I got one. I got one. Yeah. Walter's Walter's got one of those. I don't like the Remington version though. That was an excellent idea. They came up with that. So. Yeah. 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 I had to get one. Yeah, we need to we need to develop some stuff like that. We're working on it. Okay, so so don't forget about the uh, 308. Don't forget about that. Um, we're we're still going to be doing that. Um, I want to thank everyone that's in the chat here, everyone that supports us, the people that that uh, sponsor us or or give money to us on Patreon. We're Patreon slash Hank Strange. Of course, I want to thank all the people that sponsor the channel. That would be like Safety Harbor Firearms. This dude right there, Rand CLP. Um, also, Andrew's custom leather, and of course, Big Daddy guns. But there's no thing, usually the Where? thing. Big it's Daddy somewhere over here, but it's not there. It's not there. But, <laughs> yeah, technical difficulties. Oh, yes. We want to thank all those people. I want to thank Argo J for hanging out with us today. Always cool to hang out with Argo J. You know, I want to thank Kevin Dixie for hanging out with us. Always good to to see Kevin Dixie and Argo J, the 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 black on black violence. You know. <laughs> But you know, not really, not really black on black violence. Just like a little joshy, a little friendly fire, friendly fire. Let's I put get it that way. Watching the sidelines, is none of it's on me. Then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the hat game. The next just, time they come on the show, hard. it's gonna be crazy. <laughs> no, I'm gonna be doing it next time. It just go hard for the Brewers, man, and he goes hard for his cards, man, and yeah. it's just all it is. Yeah, it's all time. about baseball, man. It's all about. See, that's one of the beautiful things about America, man. You know, yeah. we can talk this shit. And hate each other's teams and hate each other's guts, but at the end of the day, I love that man. You know what I mean? So yeah, right back. See, no, I don't, yeah, you just I I was Babyface's dad came to pick up that milling machine. He had a blue truck. He had a he had a he was a, he's a, a big um, um what do you call it, fan the I, I, ice hockey team here. Oh, the, uh, the, uh, the lightning, the lightning, the lightning. Yeah, Tampa the Bay lightning. lightning. On. He had a blue truck on. Everything was lightning. <laughs> Everything. That was oh, really nice. Nice. I've never met. I've never met Mr. Babyface. <laughs> yeah, it was. It was amazing. I heard, yeah, I heard he's a cool dude, man. He's uh, you know, he he used to be a firefighter and stuff like that. So, yeah, yeah. good dude from what I hear. So, right. yeah, that's cool. All right, guys, we are out of here. We're gonna be back tomorrow. So, peace. Peace out. Oh, yeah. See you guys tomorrow. Thank you for joining. Oh, so